There we go. You're not like trying to stream to Twitch, right? I hope not. <laughs> I don't even think you have Okay, to I, it's it started. It started. It started. There we go. There, oh, we, go. there we go. Okay, I, it's it started. First try. Easy clap. All right, I think we got like a four second delay in there. Um, what I'm hearing on YouTube is a little quiet. Anyone else? What I'm hearing on YouTube is a little quiet. Anyone else? In chat? Oh yeah. Yeah. What's yeah, continue. What's, probably turn what's quiet? Off. Turn everybody up? The whole thing. Just everything? Okay. More louder. More, More louder. louder. Go here. How's this? Is this better? Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, that sounds much better. It's awkward because I have to wait three seconds to hear it. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> game well, we game volume is okay relative to voice volume. I think so. I mean, we we can tell later. People will write tell. People will yell at us. Yeah. Now, how do we know when to start playing? Do we... uh, give it a couple minutes, you know? Do we wait for the chat to populate? Yeah, I'll do. I'll do like three minutes. I'll get. I'm gonna go get another drink, and I'll be back, and then and then we can okay. rock and roll. Cool. Oh no, leaving it's us just to us. <laughs> yeah, we're we're the streamer now. Uh, hello, I'm Kenton M. <laughs> yeah, I actually made this game. Yeah, I worked. I, I made all of it. No one else even helped, dude. It was kind of it was a really big pain. Yeah, man, I love your maps. Thanks. Which one was like your favorite to work on? Um, you know, the North Great Plains it took me like a couple weeks to get done after all the uh, the intense amount of effort I put in. Oh, uh, did it? So, yeah. <laughs> a couple weeks. It turned out really well. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I actually learned Blender to uh, make those maps you know i started a week before i started the project oh wow that's took really me, insane took me one month to program the whole game oh you, you work fast took me two weeks to make the great planes <laughs> i finished the rest in two weeks <laughs> <laughs> i'm just that good yeah that, that sounds pretty realistic oh Tharo? Yeah, so you actually made Blender. Yeah, I programmed Blender just so I could make the North Great Plains, and then I finished everything else. <laughs> Taro, I just saw you in Fig's chat. What are you doing here, bro? Yeah, he's double dipping. <laughs> double dipping. <laughs> he's sharing that uh, watch time. Yeah, it's two different sites, so you gotta you gotta play both sides. Back. Hello. Uh oh. <laughs> it's gonna be delayed. Want... <laughs> it's gonna be delayed. You want me to? I will. Okay. Yes, yes. Have to do the rainbow. <laughs> what? No, dude. That's the best part. Why did you skip all that text? He's he's gonna restart because he doesn't want to play with Rainbow Tunic. Okay. Oh. Also, I just realized I had my the OBS mic muted, so you guys you guys have just been talking to a ghost. But I'm, I'm oh. back now. <laughs> Rainbow. Anyway, what I wanted what I wanted to show real quick before we start, if you use if you use the names of the some of the devs uh, as your file name, you get little little dumb tunic effects like this. Isn't that cute? If you use Kenton, you get the rainbow, or Kenton M. Sorry. How fun. Okay. Well, what about the fun. other ones? That's why you should play with it. Let's go if back. You do mine, it's, if you do mine, it's pink. If you do Shredo, it's orange. If you do... Who else is there? 
Uh, oh, Agakur, his looks like Link to the Past Link. Oh, really? Yeah, it's got the pink hair and like a bright tunic. Looks really cool, actually. <laughs> We're gonna go with the classic Link. Because after all, this is the hero of time. That's so real, actually. Oh my god, look at the kerning on that eye. Ooh. <laughs> we gotta fix some of the text is a little wobbly. <laughs> okay, let's right. get started. It's, it's unique. I won't read the intro. It's gonna sound weird. All right, I'll read it. After defeating the evil threatening Termina, the hero of time continued searching for his lost friend. Yet after 15 long years, hope had all but faded. He returned to wander once again through the mystical lost woods. He soon found himself in a new land called Valana. It seemed as good a place as any to start a new life. He lived here in quiet peace for several years until hearing a familiar chime at his doorstep. It was the purple fairy, Tail, coming with a plea for help, an old friend from a lifetime ago. Tail explained that he and his sister Tattle had eventually parted ways with the skull kid of their youth and left on their own adventure. They too had been drawn to Valana. There was something magical about this place, something sinister. Tattle insisted Ooh. they explore the depths of an ancient Deku tree long dead in the forest below, but the two had become separated. Tattle was gone. The hero of time would once again embark on a journey to find an old friend. This time would be different. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. So who wrote all of that text? Uh, so <laughs> Kenton think, did. I, 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 I originally I... wrote it, and then it was really, really bad. <laughs> so Kenton did afterwards. He <laughs> really made it for me. Yeah. It's still it's only... still pretty rough. Yeah. It's I think... definitely not going to be the same as what's actually going to be the start. Yeah, we want to have a, a starting cutscene uh, rather than just a text dump. But yeah. Got to have the bottle. A lot of the A lot of the text is written by me, but... Kenton fixed up a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Let's save. It was a team effort. Uh, oh, okay, so I can show off the pause menu. Actually, let me read the sign. How about that? Press C up in the pause menu to access in-game options. So this is a fun, fun feature that we added. We can rotate the, the HUD down, and then you get all these fun options. Z-targeting mode is hold by default. Of course. Should we do contextual HUD? Let's just leave the HUD on. I'll, I'll do contextual. Contextual, contextual come on. Uh, I like playing with virtual notches, so I'm going to turn that on. And then widescreen. It's uh, anamorphic widescreen, so it's like I would have to change the output resolution of uh, my emulator. And then we have game stats here. I worked on this. This was like rushed. One of the last things I did before, before we started... Yeah. Uh, like releasing the game as I threw this together in like a day and it just tracks all the stuff for the demo so worth it though actually okay. and also shout out to Agakur he's the one who made the uh, pause menu up thing wait you don't have a weapon? dangerous monsters are ahead could you knock some branches loose from one of the trees yeah, if you played the first demo, you'll remember this. This was like, this is one of the only scenes that has survived. And uh, it is it is not long for this world. <laughs> most, most of the scenes from the first demo, I shouldn't say most, I should say all. All of them uh, were made by me. But I was working on the project alone. And then I got much more talented people like CDI Fails and Australia Lava to come in and make maps that don't look terrible. So we use those instead. <laughs> We've been slowly replacing all of the old ones that I had made. I think this is the only one left. Yeah, I don't remember even seeing like a work in progress replacement. Has anybody? No, there there actually is one. And, oh, there is. Uh, <laughs> I. <laughs> I had Kaizo had block. No. That's the. It's the only Kaizo block in the game. But I reserve the right to add more in the future. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there is a new mountain uh, map by Australia. He's actually given it to me. I just didn't put it in game yet. So, TBD. Yeah. But it's in progress. Cool. Yes. So, that should be the last map from the OG demo that no longer will exist. Ripperoni to demo one. So, these are frozen bomb flowers. You can pick them up and they don't 
they don't light immediately. Uh, I like this puzzle. This is one of the first first things I ever made was these dumb little frozen bomb flowers. You know, I remember this had like a cutscene or something at some point, didn't it? It oh. might have. I'm, I don't remember. If only oh, somebody fixed that... that bug. Yeah, it's about to say, a climbing bug. Nobody ever runs into it though, right? <laughs> Yeah, Kinden, did that pillar have a cutscene before? I feel like I remember you when you first made it, it did, and then you took it out. I don't think yeah, it did. Yeah, I, I, I maybe, distinctly maybe it remember. Maybe it out, yeah. I, do you know what? I think... No, it was after... It must have been before playtests when you were just showing it off. I you... remember playtesting, and I don't remember it being there. Yeah. No, yeah, because it had a cutscene, and then they all said something, right? Like a little message pop. Box popped up and said, "Like, Whoa. wow, that is something or other." Oh yeah, there's there's a there's a, a a Navi hint. You get close to it, tail chimes up and is like, "Oh, this look at this big crack, <laughs> 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 barely standing up." Yo, deck or not? Deck or not? Are we going for we're going for Hundo, right? Yeah. Of course. Let's see if I can so, I can remember how to do Hundo. Yeah, I what does 100% entail? Is it it's all uh, the all the collectibles, all the heart pieces, um, all the scardita, and all of the sigils from defeating bosses? Oh, cool! It's not actually every item though, because you can skip a uh, you can skip the bottles, and they don't count towards Hundo. <laughs> Which I'm not sure is if that's an oversight or not. <laughs> or maybe it is. I thought I might be able to make it. Oh yeah, my God. the bottle the bottle items don't count. I was just lazy. I mean, yeah, goo is technically a part of it because of the cutscenes, but that doesn't mean bottle wise. Oh, I missed. Needed. Oh my gosh, Kenton. <laughs> wow. let's, let's I think we need a bigger explosion. Add the chances a little bit. Add some more add some more bombs in case I miss again. I remember you had a <laughs> God. It's a fun yeah, I hope you don't miss on. this time. I remember back when you had it and they you could just keep pulling them out. <laughs> yeah, you could pull so many bomb flowers that eventually crash the game. Now you I think into the pit. once yeah, there's yeah. once there's five, uh, it oh my god, I missed deletes again. the oldest one. Nice. Yeah. yeah, once there's five, the oldest one despawns. There we go. First try. Good job. Is the start of the custom music. Oh, the ice ripper. Yeah, the music's really nice. Yeah, these are the snowballs from Majora's Mask. Um, I'm not sure I, I ported them correctly because they... I don't remember Link throwing them that hard. I kind of like it. Oh, they do. He eats them, yeah. But yeah, they, they have float, they like, oh. they detect water, they're really neat. These icebergs were another one of the very early actors I worked on. Uh, did they give, like, a lot of trouble or something trying to get yes. them to line up properly? <laughs> they yeah. still don't line up properly. <laughs> oh, really? The way, the yeah. way it is configured is that there's spawners for the icebergs, and they just constantly spawn them on a timer. Um, and then down at the end of this tunnel, there's another waterfall. Then they fall out and despawn. Yeah, but the issue with the spawner is, oh, like, no. once every however many cycles, it just, like, one of them gets delayed just so slightly that you can't make the jump. Yeah. Which is fine, because you can just fall on think... top of the iceberg. It's this one right here. <laughs> yep. Great timing. Oh, uh, slightly too far. Yeah, despite that, I really do like these. Like, watching them fall off the waterfall, it's super yeah, satisfying. It's so cool. It is. It's actually... The icebergs respond to the water current. So there's a there's a slow water current um, in this... Nice, nice jump. Slow water current in this river, and the icebergs are reading that data to know how to move. So if you set it to, like, a faster current, would they move along faster? Yep. 
way faster. Oh. So it might be reused somewhere in the future. Definitely. They just nice. follow natural gravity then, going over the edge, or is that programmed as well? Um, that is based on detecting the surface of the water box. So once they fall out of a water box, they'll just fall based on gravity, yeah. And then as soon as they hit another water box, they'll start floating. Damn, so really that cool. whole thing where they like sink super far deep and then like turn around and float up, that's all just natural? That's sick. No, I had to program all of no. that. Oh, you did? You did <laughs> yeah. that? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like the I was, falling I was part. Like, Damn, that's super cool. <laughs> oh, who's oh, that? There's some of those guys. Yeah, they have they have gravity, but everything else is uh Yeah, is you have to do that. I was gonna say that was that's a little too clean wow. <laughs> to yeah. just happen naturally. <laughs> I was trying to trying to watch them fall for a second. Classic Kentonan moment. Of course he's scared of a Scardita, dude. The Scardinas are scary as fuck. Uh how did you make the Rita okay. Elder so terrifying? That was another extremely early enemy and they just have a, a variable for their speed basically and you can crank that up and they go fast the zoom you know it's Your funny i remember huge on those too yeah i remember first seeing it and i told kenton like you need to change that man that's like no good like that that'll people make people mad <laughs> yeah I, I think funny, it's though. like a it's like a very divisive thing because I see a lot of people say how much they love it. Yeah, no, it's like half and half. It's just a little dust 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 dust. guy. Just a little dust mite, right? Right. <laughs> Those I think are Kenton also uh, all of the partly right. implemented port from from Majora's Mask. Um, they don't have any of the correct sound effects that they're supposed to. I told you we should have left the chicken sound in. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. But yeah, all of the tail text is written by Kenton. I'm, I'm, I'm not good at that. I think you did a couple Kenton of them. M -M. I, I think the only one I did is the Nejira. <laughs> just, just get me the hell away from that thing, pretty much. <laughs> that one was for the fans. Damage boost. Am I the famous Ken M who trolls on Yahoo? Man, I wish. That man is a true legend. What Ken M who trolls on Yahoo? <laughs> famous. I've seen him before. Ya Yahoo still exists? Uh, Yahoo answers. They don't oh. anymore, but... Nice when was he flower. famous? Here? Seven, eight years ago or something? This... It does run on N64. Uh, but not Can I make this. The, not the like best. Top, no. It's not that bad on N64. It's not. It, it chugs in some parts. It, it's especially it's playable. Like, but... There are places where it chugs in normal game too, like crossing the bridges in the plains. Sometimes chug a bit, and it's just kind of a lot worse on Let me test console. Nice. Okay, that still works. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, I'm playing around with the ledges. We have there's some uh, there's there's a bug. I'll show it later when we get to a climbing vines. Um, I just I just discovered this like the other day. You did it earlier on the the ladder in Ice Cave. Oh, I could have done it there. Yeah, you're right. I mean, you did do it there. Yeah. Oh no no, you just natural, you you naturally bug. corrected for. Oh, there's another one? All right, Magic Boomerang. Hold R while aiming to focus your shot for greater accuracy. The best. I remember this. This boomerang has become so overpowered. I It is like my favorite item in the game now. It does good damage, stuns things, steals steals items. How soon before we get a, a big pull? Yeah, let's see. There's a 2% there's a chance to loot a huge rupee from enemies. Best part of the game. Thank Roll. you for showing it off. <laughs> Rolling through pots. Best part of the game. Absolutely. Can you uh, try to aim the boomerang just like normally without a uh, Z targeting, real quick? I want to confirm something. Yeah, go. there it is. Okay. You see that circle crosshair? Uh huh. Yeah, why is it a circle here when it's like a little normal crosshair everywhere else? 
Uh, it's not. <laughs> because because uh, the the math I did for f figuring out where to draw the crosshair is very questionable, and uh, it's very inaccurate. So I made the crosshair <laughs> basically as big as possible. <laughs> because it's unlikely the boomerang is really going to go to the center of the screen. But I actually I had to write yep. a, change the camera for, for throwing the boomerang. Um, it's normally directly behind Link's head, which is fine when you're a child, but that is not ideal for adult Link. So it's I had to... not really fine when you're a child either. <laughs> I think people just yeah, put up with no, it. No, boomerang in general, throwing it kind of sucks ass. <laughs> uh, if everything goes smooth, how long until full release? And I wish I could. I wish I could answer that. It depends on how how much we want to do with the game. We don't. We don't have everything fully planned out yet. So it'll it'll depend on uh, what folks want to make. Really, it'll be done in. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Years. Sorry, did I cut out? No. What? Oh, hey, it's matter. Oh, <laughs> he's just oh. calling you up. <laughs> Oh. Shoot a hang. Shoot a hang. Beautiful camera angle. Oh my god, so much just happened in that one moment. <laughs> I really like the block falling. Uh, that puzzle was stolen from another ROM hack, just saying. Was it? I, I had to I had to code that block logic myself. That's custom behavior. Yeah, I was gonna say I remember that not looking like that at some point. All I'm saying is I know another I know another ROM hack that uh had a chain of bomb flowers against a wall. Oh, oh. oh the bomb flower part, yeah. Oh, that's stolen yeah. from a dozen things. <laughs> you know, I came up with that puzzle in the hack. The only, <laughs> the only scene intro cutscene in all of the game. I was going to make more, but I just never did. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah I don't know if anybody notices, though, you know? No, you don't. You don't think about it at all. This is the, this is the only one I think that, like, matters. Yeah, honestly, if you had them for every scene, it might get a little redundant. Yeah. Every scene is too much, but the big ones. Yeah, this is uh, this is one of CDI's um, CDI scenes. I gave him a crappy little MS Paint drawing of a layout, and he turned it into this in like two days. <laughs> oh, I remember. Yeah, the little layout. Shout out to Agakur for shaky text. Oh yeah, I love shaky text. And Kentonem for names. I'll try to I'll show off try to show off all the all the NPC uh, dialogue. It'll be like the definitive guide to Hundo, everything there is to see. Love rolling into pots. That's an MM, right? Like it's not an OT, but it's an MM. Um, I actually don't remember if it is an MM. So I walked away for literally half a second. What, what's an MM? Or not an the MM? Rolling into pots? No, I don't think so. It's not? Or is it rolling into grass? Maybe maybe you grass. can roll through grass. It yeah. is? Oh, it is it an is. MM? I mean, I've literally played MM like four times. I'm sorry. I oh, feel Becky. like it was supposed to be an OT, but they like bugged it or something, but I don't know. I mean, the code just wasn't there at all for it, so... Oh, uh, maybe not then. <laughs> There's signs of it being planned to be... No so this is the first the first side quest from Becky here. Um, one of the design goals in Indigo is, is lots of lots of side content. Oh, no. Let's talk to it again. Lots of side content. Uh, is this my guy? Yeah, this is the best named NPC in the game. Dungo? Dungo. Dungo. We love Dungo here. All, I love how <laughs> when we named all the Kokiri, all the girls, all the girl Kokiri had just like normal ass names. <laughs> and then all the boys are like Bulby and Dungo. <laughs> <laughs> they've got some they've got some funny ones. Oh interesting. There's signs of rolling through pots being planned in OT, but it's bugged. That's fascinating. That's um, funny because when I, I added the yet. rolling through pot code to the pot actor. I don't think I saw anything like that. Oh, I think it's like a collider thing in oh. player code. Oh, here we go. That would make sense. Do you have the money for it already? Oh, what the fuck? Tempo! Oblivion <laughs> reference here. 
Why would you go off? I added this, some, uh, one of, some streamer was playing this, and he was like, please put a reference to Oblivion in there. So, there we go. Really? <laughs> Item satchel, 10 rupees. This was this was a, a base feature of... Oh, I don't have enough. Really? <laughs> you don't have 10 rupees yet? How do I not have 10 rupees yet? I guess I I'll know. talk about it when I can afford it. Contextual HUD not showing up in shops yet. Rip. Fixed in private times. Oh, this is a, a fun little thing I haven't, I haven't uh, seen anybody point out. This weird base, if you, if you see it's like a blue this is because of the way i have to organize scenes scenes are like the maps that you play in ot this is a fun fact so there's a there's like a render layer and a collision layer and the render layer is all of the graphics that you see collision is what link walks on and for this what i normally do is i mark the collision layer as so like it it's not going to get drawn and then the render layer doesn't have any collision but I, I did that backwards with this pot. So <laughs> you're actually you're looking at what the what the collision is for that for that little pot instead of uh, whatever it should be. Well I remember it. all of us noticed it and posted and, about it. Oh, and then okay. we just all okay. forgot Never to fix fixed it. it. Never <laughs> fixed it. I actually think it looks kinda cool. I'm gonna be honest. So actually I just wanna give a quick shout out to Australia. He's the one who made these interior maps, I believe. Yeah, these oh, are yeah. so they, good. They just they blend so perfectly with like the outside. Like I don't think you guys ever conversed about it. No, but... I don't remember even giving the like textures. I, mean, I don't think kinda... they are the same textures. I think the wood is like on the walls, but up. Oh, you don't have to read all of this. Poor 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 Kokiri. I think oh, yeah. it's fine that we still call them Kokiri, even though they're uh, in Tokiria. Yeah, well, I was going to say. Should we call them Tokiri? <laughs> it kind of sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it does, too. <laughs> Long time donated, first time watcher, Greens from Austria. Uh, put your donations in and you can get the, um, the Indigo ROM part uh, $5 donation minimum. Wow, that's that's pretty cheap. Yep, only that's five dollars. Well, that's to get put into uh, the raffle. There's a lot of text because it's supposed to be a cutscene. <laughs> and yeah, it's gonna, and it's supposed to flow better than just a bunch of <laughs> text boxes being slapped at you. <laughs> yeah, how many so you was lose that? A, you was lose like twenty. Yeah, you lose a lot of context when he has to say everything. Yeah, and you can't, you know, keep the conversation flowing back. So he has to say, do this, this, and this, and this, and this, when it could be, says this, respond back, and then he can just move on. <laughs> exactly. So a lot of the dialogue dumps are very uh, nice. extraneous. Stole a bloopy there. Nice. Almost at five, almost at $10. I love these guys, the little rock crabs. Oh go yeah, to, uh, I, I forget that they? they're in the game they constantly. How do you how do you forget they're in the game? I couldn't even go to kill the them, other I one. Think. No, you can't at all. He, however, can kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, let me let me go show that. This is fantastic. Yeah, go to the other one. So when I was I these are one of the enemies that I made on stream, and uh, I didn't know how to handle them entering water, uh, and I didn't I didn't want them to just like pretend that water didn't existed. Nice, barely made that. So they just, they die immediately when they fall into water. Let's see if I can get them to. <laughs> yeah, this one's positioned right in. Yeah, I know. Time he's get him always off. kills himself. <laughs> it's great because oh, people will play this and then just get that scream randomly. Like, what was that? <laughs> I have no idea. Is, you should go back up oh, nice to that the platform. Nice. Go back up to that platform where the rock is and then go up to the tree that's in between you and uh that cut off back area that cdi put in that we completely forgot about uh -huh. oh your, funny story your about that secret rupee yeah <laughs> go grab the secret rupee that's that's some free cash for you you know oh, while we're oh, going yeah. there um that little back area i put in and i meant to tell them and i forgot <laughs> so one day they were like cdi there's like a an exit back here that you didn't tell for? us about 
It was after I had already done all the collision uh. and everything, too. I just literally never saw it. Oh, Kenton. That was, that was too so bad. Hey, here's our guy. He made it all the way over here. Our little rock <laughs> crab. Oh, they're so much fun. Yeah, hidden, hidden chest up here. Yeah, this was the first map I ever added collision to. Oh, really? Yeah. Was it a good experience for you? Uh, it was fine up until I had to do the fences. Oh. I didn't I know how to do fences. just want to point out how beautiful our rupee models look. Oh, shout out. Mm. CDI <laughs> failed. So this is something that I had been trying to do myself off and on for months, and I just months, couldn't get it months. looking right. And then CDI grabbed it, and again, did it in like two days. I think they're just like a, a copy of the Twilight Princess style, right? Yeah, they're very, very inspired by the Twilight Princess look. Inspired. That's better. Inspired. Not <laughs> yeah, not not verbatim stolen and ripped. Uh, yeah, not yeah. using the same textures. Actually, oh, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> I just oh. love seeing the flash. Yeah, that was, that was very off screen. Yeah, these uh, dig spots, however, these are like... I'm, I'm pretty sure it's That's... Skyward Sword texture for the, Straight up. for the little little guys. I mean, it works, though. It's perfect. So <laughs> yeah, I think it's yeah. the best, one of the best textures in the game. So this I is... think you guys asked for a texture, this and I thought about part. it. Oh, yeah, those little arcs. If we, could, if we could get a way to choose between arc and forward, that would be awesome. I know. Uh, the, the boomerang arcing is, uh, it's dense code. I, I tried to change it to just always fire straight, but I could never get it working. Another pickpocket <laughs> rupee. That guy's huge. I, this was, I think, this was literally the very first enemy I ever made was these giant Deku Babas. I was like, what can I do to modify new enemies? I know, I'll just make them big. <laughs> Yeah, okay, here's that little secret area that CDI was talking about. Literally never saw it. Still don't know what it's really for, but yep. it's there. We'll we'll figure it out someday. Oh yeah, the hidden rupee. Nice. This is the best rupee in the game. That's not a bad idea, pressing C after throwing the boomerang and just kind of snapping it home. Might look a little unrealistic, but... Kind of like yeah, I mean, it is a magic boomerang. So yeah, it is magic. Mm -hmm. Is realism truly what we're going for in our Ocarina of Time ROM hack? Some more lore from the Kokiri. Oh, so much fucking lore. Oh my god. This girl's pose is just uh, questionable. Yeah, that's a default. That's a default pose, man. I'm not gonna go into this. Maybe this is one of the Kokiri that's like not meant. <laughs> oh my god, look at that head twist. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oge. The Kokiri code was a very big pain to work through. <laughs> first like all first mini game. Very frustrating. This is the simplest uh, mini game in Indigo. He doesn't even tell you what it is before asking for money. You just want to play twenty rupees. Okay, let's go. <laughs> it's Chert. Shout out to uh, Other One. Love that game. So that's from somewhere. Yeah. I thought it was just one of those like Dungo type names. No, that one is on purpose. Yeah, Chert. That is, is our uh, reference to Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds, yeah. Oh, uh, you got the worst one. So oh, yellow rupees, like an OT yellow rupees are hundreds or something, right? Something like that. Uh, yeah, no. In regular OT, it's a hundred. Yellow rupees sure. are not in they're OT. They're technically gold rupees, yeah. Which is the uh, orange ruby in game. Um, but I, I like. We wanted money to be more important in Indigo, like across the board, so there's a lot of shops and a lot of things to spend money on. So I added the yellow rupees to kind of help with that. It's another denomination. You end up getting quite rich throughout the course of the game. Oh my god, three in a row? Oh my god. Always middle, though. Because now you know the next time you don't pick middle, it was middle. So RNG. What is this? This is, a, this is a one in three chance, and it's it's random each time they spawn. I mean, at least you're getting your money back. That's true. You get a grand prize, he says, bro. What if there is no grand prize? <laughs> this is this is the 
This is the Dampe of Indigo. This is actually how 100% <laughs> runs are gonna die here. I really Luckily, like though, that. It's really early, at least. That, that's Six. true. It's like at the beginning of the game. I like I them mean, when. It... Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'll get to go, it eventually. Just I was just gonna say something stupid. I like when you can see the chest spawning. Uh, there's like a moment where the chest switches the draw layer, so it goes from like oh, yeah, yeah. Trans transparent to opaque, and you can see the water suddenly snap over. A heart piece. Yeah, I was just gonna say 100% runs. At least this is like at minimum eight minutes into the intro. What was that? Seven? Was yeah, seven or eight? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Good climb. Yeah, for some reason that that area is really hard for people to see. Like nobody ever sees it the first time they enter that room. Nice. Yeah, I I didn't know it was there for a while. It's like I mean I guess it's like the angle of the oh my god boomerang hey like the floor. If you walk forward while z targeting with it. Does it make it go forward? I don't think so. Kenton M's favorite uh, mini map. I'm so proud. I, I made all the mini maps um, for the overworld areas. We don't have any mini maps yet for the dungeons. But yeah, that, I was most proud of this one. <laughs> this is the hardest one to make. <laughs> so this was actually the original. We were going to actually have this be the original maze from demo one, but I was messing around in it and I said, all right, I'm making a new uh, making a new maze, and then I deleted the maze and I remade it, and I took out Kenton's sign. He yeah. was not happy. We, we we had a fight about this sign. I was like, it's just good flavor. I was like, I don't care about it being here, and you're like, I absolutely do, and I was like, fine, <laughs> go in and add it back yourself then. And I did. Do you remember the path? No, I get lost in here every time. I remember the old path. <laughs> I made it pretty confusing, actually. It's not, a, it's yeah, not it's as straightforward legit. as it was before. Maze. Oh, you know what's in here? The best enemy in the game. Oh, that's true. Oh, where is it? Well, Kenton, find it. it it'll be it's right around the corner. If he goes the right direction, of course. Nice. Hello. Frito. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Baited by the heart. Wonder who this is. So cute. These look really good. <laughs> this is a moment, a so so such a funny moment where CD. I was just like, I can make a new model for that. <laughs> Nobody asked. We're like, oh, we don't, we don't really, yeah, we're like, we don't really need one. <laughs> it comes back 15 minutes later. I made a new model for that. Do you want to put it in? <laughs> CD, why did that? Hey. <laughs> You guys do it the right to say no at any time. But I also reserve the right to just make the model. <laughs> and it's there. Uh, nice. Huge shout out to Shredo in the chat right now. Also a modeler. Uh, yeah, Shredo. Big great work on the uh, Oh, village, uh, right? we forgot to ask. Village, yes. Can we do... Oh, yeah. Do we kill? Do we kill or uh, ignore? Kill Casca, ignore Casca. Mm. Let the spirit be. I'll go. I'll go collect some rupees while while people vote. Kill, kill, kill! <laughs> wow. I go. Genocide run. It's it's honestly sad. If you kill her, it's really depressing. I spend I spend an asinine amount of time working out all the dialogue trees for every single Kokiri. Yeah, they... Yeah, I bet that actor is... It's huge. <laughs> well, the text is actually more huge than Okay, that looks the pretty definitive. Itself, but... Are we we'll, go, we'll go yeah. ahead and kill her. This is another one of our design goals for Indigo, is having uh, choices with impacts. And this is kind of like our first dipping our toe in the water of, of doing that. Everybody's been telling you about this spirit, not to harm her. She's the savior of the village. She gave up her life for everybody. It's been hard for um, Apollo ever since. Well, we don't need her. 
rip. Good job, you monster. So yeah, every single Kokiri has alternate text on whether or not you kill her or don't kill her. And then if you kill her and beat the tree or save her and, say, and beat the tree. So there's like four paths for every single one. Yeah, I didn't realize the math got so dark. This guy is your first first indication that you've made a mistake. <laughs> He's very distraught. Yep, good job, Bulby. <laughs> the, uh, you should definitely go and talk to him again after we beat the tree. No one ever nice. goes back to talk to him, and he says one of the worst things. <laughs> you all have to remind me. Let's go check what these, these folks in here say. A lot of this dialogue is just never seen by people. <laughs> you disgust me. Okay, Taffy. <laughs> yeah, they are not happy. The only person who doesn't care is the guy running the gambling ring in the basement. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about him! <laughs> I complete he was added after I wrote all of the dialogue already, so Oh shit, the the, the thing's gonna be more expensive now. Oh, I yeah. think it's uh <laughs> Yeah, the shopkeeper's right? mad. And he takes he takes away all of all of the stuff he used to sell, like all the consumables. Twenty rupees. Oh Okay. This is a feature from the first demo. Uh, that was a, a fan favorite. You get three more C buttons when you hit D-pad down. Do I have enough for the shield? How much did I make that? hundred. Uh, you, you might be close. Oh. No shield. You one money, yeah. No shield for me. Oh, 250. I forgot. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe you could get five rupees from, uh... What's that face? <laughs> the guy blocking the five rupee spot. Yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll get lucky and pickpocket a, a Hugo. Nothing. Rip. Okay, greatest cutscene in the game right here, coming up. Pay attention. Oh, that, uh, that, that was, <laughs> that, uh, bit is from MM, by the way. Hey, I just love <laughs> I love the Deku tree so much. I'll never forget when we were in the call with CDI making this and he had everything done. And then like, hold on. <laughs> I can make it better. <laughs> and, and gave it teeth. <laughs> His horrible teeth. I think he had bottom teeth as well at first. And we're like, we have to get in. I don't know, fully. No money. Do uh do shield list, come on. It's doable. Oh, immune to Deku nuts. Who did that? I I forgot. I don't know Kenton's exact reason for adding the landmines, but I've determined it as the Moblin tribe put them here. Yeah, I uh, I just it was an actor I made like on a whim one day, and I wanted to put them somewhere, so I just put them here. <laughs> I didn't want the worry to go to waste. Uh, the Moblin tribe. Where where are they? <laughs> Quiet, you. There's there's uh. Nice aim. Uh, they're. They're around. They're just hanging out. Uh, I'll be honest when I say when I was writing the text and I added the Moblin Tribe thing in, I wasn't thinking about it too much. And then there were going to be more Moblins, but the Moblin code is kind of annoying. And here we are. 
<laughs> one moblin in the entire forest. The tribe consists of one moblin. Yeah, as of yeah, now, and he's actually. really, really good. <laughs> How many Scarditas in total? Probably a hundred. Yeah, we'll probably do a hundred. That sounds good. sounds good. I mean, we got thirty in the in the demo with like room to spare. So. <laughs> Oh, fun, fun little Easter egg here. If you stare at these lights for long enough. <laughs> they form into a circle and throw a bomb at you. I, I can't hear it right now, but this is uh, the only song uh, me and CDI created together. AKA CDI gave me a song and I modified it a little bit. It's a banger. He modified it like more than a little bit, I'd say. He did. <laughs> I, I, I did a little. Work. I did a little work. That's why I say it's by both of us. Yeah. <laughs> You're credited as a music artist in. The... Am I really? <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't have we don't have specific rules. Like it was... <laughs> Man, I'm getting no money. This runs on PC if you're using an emulator. You'll you'll be able to figure it out. Yeah. Uh, Portal Grotto inspired by Soul Reaper. No, actually. So a uh, fun fun fact. Uh, oh, all... Kenton, you didn't start the timer. <laughs> oh my God, you're right. I didn't. <laughs> oh no. Hit start now. Hit start now. Yeah, it's the start of the dungeon. Yeah, we started uh, 46 minutes ago. Can you just add 46 minutes really quick? <laughs> we'll just pretend. There we go. Yeah, wait, do you need a timer if you have the stream? <laughs> it's fine. It's for people's interest, I Pulse. guess. Pulse speed then. Yeah, restart. You have no shield. What are you going to do? Ignore him. These, uh, you changed the Deku scrubs, right? To do... Yeah, they, they actually row. can't shoot, uh... Up or down in in vanilla. I had to I had to give them code to be able to shoot. They can only shoot in a straight horizontal plane in, in vanilla. I'm gonna die. You sure are. I feel like they didn't always be able to shoot three in a row, did they? Or is that I'm just um that that is vanilla behavior. I'm not sure if it's ever used, but there's a they have a parameter to control how many how many seeds they'll shoot. I think in Sacred Forest Meadow, some of them shoot multiple. That, oh, you know what? Yes, they do actually. Oh. Hello, Buzz Blob. Yeah, Buzz Blobs. The only uh, enemy I made. Modeled by Shredo, of course. I love their little walk animation. Model or animations by Kenton. <laughs> this is a team effort. <laughs> yeah. This this is one an enemy. I think yeah, a total of three 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 people worked on it. I just did a couple animations for him. Yeah. Rito gave me the code or gave me the model. Kenton gave me animations. And then I programmed. And then see, I actually helped me program a little bit of it too. There's a special variant. Oh, actually, you can talk about this guy first before I say anything. Yeah, the mold the mold Deku. This is I think one of the best looking enemies in that we've added. Like it it just fits with the OT aesthetic so well. Moldeku and Snapdragon are absolutely the two best enemies custom how did How did we come up with this? Wasn't it like a, a joke or something? I, it was, it was well, a joke. By you, of course. Oh. <laughs> well, I had the idea of using the wall Waiting. tentacles from Metroid Prime. Oh. Yeah. And that was a decent idea. And then we were like, oh, it could be a worm. And then we're like, a worm in the Deku tree? Maybe not. And then... It devolved from there. Wow. To whatever. I, I just remember before making the model, I kept saying Deku Worm over and over. It's yeah. Like a... <laughs> we probably yeah, had some good concept art. You were obsessed. Art somewhere. You were obsessed art. with uh, with Deku Worm. I do remember. Shout out to Shimmy. Oh yeah, that uh, Shimmy code. Shimmy, yeah. This Shimmy. is this is new functionality. This is a team effort by uh, Adrian and myself. I did. I did the animations, and he programmed her up. Uh, one small bug fix by Nitro as well. Like one line thing. 
Well, weren't you trying to uh, work on that or something? Or, uh, yeah. For a little bit. Oh, oh, you're not, you're not going to get it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you got it. This was the <laughs> second ever thing. Oh, I no! Made. Wow! That is so funny. That's painful. That's what I get for trying to show off show off new behavior. No. That was the that's the only one in the entire pack. And that was the second thing I ever did for the for the mod when I was brought on. Because I made that guy. You're gonna get hit by the spark. No, I'm fine. Right? I'm gonna be fine. Uh, yeah, you're fine. You passed the point at which the spark usually Easy. gets you. Easy. First try. <laughs> oh, that's a joke. Oh my. Oh my god. <laughs> playing, playing with an Xbox controller is not ideal. Alright, we're here for the gameplay, not the commentary. Padding for content. I forgot what I was saying about the buzz flop. I was like, a whole two minutes ago. Oh yeah, there's a there's a nice special one. variant of the buzz bob you might have run into that does a gigantic explosion attack and chases you. That is specifically uh, called a Kenton M type, and it was made by me and CDI because I was trying to make it, and Kenton said it was dumb, and I wanted to keep it. So it's it's Kenton M. Never forget. And shout out CDI because he actually. I still think it's dumb, that. but I can't win them all. It's awesome! They're so cool! <laughs> we need to figure out why sometimes Link just does, like, this oh, dinky drill. little hop instead of, a, instead of a jump when you jump off ledges. Like this room is so scary. <laughs> I know. It's, yeah, it's terrifying. It's really beautifully modeled, though. I wonder who did that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this, uh, this dungeon was a collaborative effort between CDI and Kenton. It had a really beautiful uh, MS Paint drawing that I had to base it off of. <laughs> it's what yeah. I requested, though. I'm not, I'm not saying that in, like, a, you know... The meaning way. Oh, I made it through without dying. The classic, uh, Kenton sends the MS Paint drawing over and the instant CDI reply of, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is this supposed to be? Well, I remember he drew the mouth, like, open. Like, the open mouth of the bigotry with the teeth or something on, like, the left side. <laughs> Everything past that, I was like, what the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> oh, there we go. Big groupie. Let's go! Oh, nice. Also, love the, uh... Uh... Oh, my God, I forgot the name. Kongold's stun animation, or pose. <laughs> yeah, their frozen pose. Now, so goofy. In, in this room, can you still get, like, the wombo combo from the Kongold and the buzz blob, right? Oh, yeah. You can get... This room is, yeah. is deadly. If you, uh... If you try to skip that frog, there's, there's a bug where he can tongue attack you from under, the like, floor. through the floor. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just get alternatingly stun locked by the buzz blob and the, and the tongled. <laughs> you should show the Navi text on the frog, actually. I think that's the last one we'll see. Let me reopen them. No, 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 no. You see him in a abandoned shipyard. Oh, that's right. Whatever. See him again. I think this was uh, this was modeled after the little frogs in Vanilla OG, right? Oh my gosh, another! <laughs> Holy, that after... guy's loaded! <laughs> yeah, he's he's carrying around a wallet or something. I'm getting our, our RNGs coming back around from that mini game. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, but uh, what'd you say? Modeled after? Uh, more like it is the model. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh my god! <laughs> he's getting used to the getting wobbled. Oh, is that so what's mad. happening? Yeah, he's so mad. Getting, not a sturdy getting the tongue attack. This is dangerous. Is I, I have a heart here. Huh? I oh, think bad. I put leash code on the tongle. Nope, there it is. Right in front of the... <laughs> I deserve that. The, you can dodge the frog tongue, but there's a bug where it can hit you. It doesn't care about why 
coordination, and it doesn't care about floors. <laughs> so... Now, is this yeah. a fixed bug, or is this a to-be-fixed? That is not fixed yet. I, uh, sure, it's an easy uh, fix. I mean, add a Y <laughs> range on <Yeah>. it. <laughs> Give it a ray cast <laughs> if it's passing through a floor <laughs> or a ceiling. <laughs> okay, we, all, we also need to fix that little hop. Yeah, that was... I remember that was one of uh, Dry's when... I, I, I tried to I tried to look into it, but I, I couldn't I couldn't get it. What would the alternative be? Like the uh, yeah, the jump. Oh my god! Yeah, why did it have to happen? Like sometimes it's just such an odd thing to happen. Like it looks like you're going good enough speed, good enough angle. It's honestly really just prevalent in this room in particular. I don't know who to blame. Oh, here he goes. Oh, dodged. <laughs> okay. Am I am I just terrible at video games? I think you got to get that spark at the very least. The thing chases you down. Did you died. <laughs> I didn't know it said you died. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Nobody does point that out. <laughs> yeah, that text normally says game over. <laughs> I think, yeah, Kenton, you changed that to you died just randomly. I don't think you even told anybody. <laughs> just yeah, I don't remember that. You just bored one day. Oh, yeah. It's, great, it's, it's a great option. I do love it. Okay. We'd be fine if I had the Deku shield. <laughs> you can do or free shield this. Come on. Next time I die. Small chance to say skill issue. I'm not gonna die. <laughs> it's a good one, Ego. Spark and uh, well, actually that's not true. Spark is the only enemy in the entire game that can only be killed by boomerang, right? Uh, yes. Spark, Spark can only be killed by boomerang, and it's the only one that has that effect. Buzzbobs as well, but they can get hit by arrows, so not only boomerang. Like any other ones while you're boomerang? I can't believe I died. But boomerang's right so OP. Selecting that. Die. Imagine if they were still bugged out. It was just gone forever. That would be very sad. Was that an issue? Yeah, at one point. I didn't have the flag set up properly. Uh, the music work. is... Who is it? Insane. Ego, right? Yeah, Ego made 90% of the music in the heck. He's, his YouTube channel is The Ego Effect. He's also in the chat. Ego, say hi. Very well done music. Dare I say, absolute bangers. <laughs> yeah, and CDI did the rest. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I can remember the strategy. I think it's this little patch of dirt right here. Oh, are you trying to cheat? <laughs> cheat your own puzzle? <laughs> <laughs> you can, because the, the, on the way back, the boomerang ignores collision. So you can hit this switch from behind. Oh, He's just trying to ignore the puzzle because he knows shouldn't have been added. It's, it's a pissed. fine puzzle, dude. <laughs> okay, this puzzle, I think, is the most controversial thing in the entire hack. Yeah, it would yeah. fit perfectly in, like, you know, most, most, games, most people hate it. I, actually, I don't see too many players mention puzzle as, like, a point of contention. It's mainly just me. <laughs> the problem is people don't always know that you can do a jump slash with the decker stick and that's kind of where the problem comes from well you'll see the solution here in a second i don't remember what the original puzzle was anyway it was this <laughs> like i think kenton had this idea since like the start no he didn't because i i had to yeah well, I he had to this. edit the room oh, yeah <laughs> I remember you just showed up and he's like, look, I cut a hole in this wall and I put some water down there. And I was like, what the f what'd you do? <laughs> oh, that's right. That, is, that did happen. Is there not backface calling on that? Uh, or there is backface calling on one of the, his fist. One of the worst modelers 
Come on. I know. It's only one of them, too. <laughs> oh, I missed. <laughs> <You're dead. laughs> oh my god, mad at his own bad at his own puzzle. Yeah. Skill issue. This I I agree. This uh, the idea was a lot better in my head. Execution fell short. This I do um, think this is the worst puzzle in the game. No, I'll agree. I think, I think there's one other one. <laughs> is it the library? Yeah. <laughs> That's not it's only it's not, the timing. Yeah. So there's two issues that cropped up with that, and that's one. And uh, you can't change the time around the torches without it messing up everything about the drawing of the flame. Like the flame just gets super messed up. And also, I'm just really good at the game, <laughs> so I never had problems with it. You know what I what I had seen done for another hack is uh, adding a timer parameter. So if you're using multiple torches, you have a timer that you can set in the torch params, or maybe like yeah. a rotation or something. I feel like we need that. Yeah, I'm actually, I plan on fixing the, the library puzzle. Oh, there's I actually mean, a good question in chat. Hold on. Um, what are some ideas that had to be permanently cut because they wouldn't work? Oh, man, that's a really I can good talk question. about one when we get to the village. There's a really big one in the village that we couldn't make work. Uh, but I'll get to that when we get there. Oh my god, you scared the shit out of me. Good jump. <laughs> um... Oh, but yeah, I, I actually had to. That's an edit that I made to Link's player code. I increased the angle that he can grab onto things from, so you don't have to hit it at such a good. Like, you can be kind of imprecise, and he'll still grab onto it. Gosh, I'm so bad at Jump slip. Nice jump slip. <laughs> the spin attack, man. Getting wobbled. The spin attack. I put off the wrong. <laughs> It's just uh, tension, Dra you know, drama for... Drama, drama, drama. I mean, thinking back, uh, I don't think there's really much that we couldn't add. No, there's like, some things, I mean, in, I think. in time for the demo, yeah. Sure. But, like, technically limited? I'll have to there think about a that. Lot of, there were a lot more things that we added impromptu yeah. that we didn't discuss earlier. And a lot less stuff that just got cut that we had discussed. Yeah. Like, like we would do stuff like we'd have uh, Pegasus boots, then we'd be like, wouldn't it be good if you could like hold R to drift? And then the next day it'd be in. <laughs> yeah. And it just worked. That, that's so real. Drifting and honestly, Pegasus is drifting. Drifting is possibly the best thing at it. Pack, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> it's really fun. It is nerfed in, uh, in not live or not this patch because you can spam drift and save all your magic, which is, you know, funny, but... Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else that we just said no, can't do. Definitely stuff with, like, time getting it into the demo, but I'm not sure there was a lot that couldn't be done due to, like, technical constraints. Yeah. Because everyone working on the, the mod is just really talented at getting stuff in the game and working like within days fast yeah i yeah. will say there were some early enemy concepts that i vetoed because uh i didn't wasn't confident enough in being able to pull them off well um but we've had a lot more practice since then so i think we've uh we've got we've got the enemy process like down now we're we're really moving on to our to our new boss encounters Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah, actually, uh, the boss for uh, the ship was gonna happen, but uh, that's right. Yeah, I had a, I had a, just decided it. We decided against it. It's very. I had a very clear idea for the for the uh, boss of the second dungeon that I'll do after this one, but I couldn't couldn't pull it off in time. Well, <laughs> the text box that you added doesn't imply that you didn't pull it off it implies that you just didn't put it in the game there was maybe some creative <laughs> liberty uh, yeah. yeah no because i've ever seen streamers and they'd be like oh look they already made a boss they just don't want to spoil it for us like how nice <laughs> this is one of my favorite looking uh, rooms in the game by the way this like fake the fake shadows coming off of these oh yeah yeah this room is based off of an older room and like the Space World 97 Deku Tree, and I, I just really like oh, the aesthetic. Oh, stairs, stairs. Oh, the stairs. I get flack for this 
from Faro for some reason. <laughs> he does not like yeah, these like nice. real collision stairs. Yeah, the bonkable. Bonk stairs moment. Can, can you so bonk cool. on them? Yeah, try rolling up them. What, wait, 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 Kenton. Nice. Did I just see something that I had no idea was a thing? Yeah, Did the, you just burn the mole Deku? The Deku yeah, worms flammable. die in one hit from fire damage. I literally never knew that. And I know everything about this hack. <laughs> wow. With... Uh, how's my health? Probably not the best. I don't have I don't have the oh, shield either. I'll be fine. You're fine. You're fine. You fought him a million times. You can fight him a million more. Die. Shield. Meet your end. Interloper. Interloper. Did you get that from the Twilight Princess, or did you need both have both or something? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I have both. Is that all the time? Yeah, I'll, let, I'll let Kenton talk about this guy after he's done, because this is all him. Really a lot to save your life. The uh, bombs dropping from the ceiling, though, is a reference to the, the boss. Oh, no, I don't want that. Watch you pick up the bomb. He's gotta be just one away. One more hit, you can do it. Oh, that was tense. You get him? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, there's bombs appearing seemingly out of nowhere. What's the deal with that? My original concept, so you also notice there's like this big platform up here. My original concept was to redo that fight from, I think it was Oracle of Ages, where you've got yeah. a Moblin boss and you have to pick up the bombs and throw them back up onto this platform. Uh, but I kind of I kind of started working on that Moblin skirmisher and I was like, this is way too tough for just a normal enemy. <laughs> So I turned him into the mini boss instead. Yeah, if you were to look there, there actually is like a full platform model. Yeah. With a floor <laughs> that you could walk around on. A really cool floor that you could go go up there and get, I don't know, like a boss or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks, Shane. I think you decided to just keep the bomb one anyway for the funnies. Yeah, it makes it Yeah, uh, you already had to make it even harder. <laughs> I really like how in that main room you see these two like rivers going into a black kind of void and then in this room you can see the waterfalls. Yeah, it's such it a nice connects. It's that it's that CDI attention to detail that nobody ever notices. No, people don't know that well. I don't know. <laughs> I think people notice this one because you can hear them. Yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of other little details. Uh the player Damaging the Moblin Skirmisher with bombs would be counterintuitive, seeing as the fact that it's being surrounded by bombs at all points, or at all times. It'd be cool if you could only tell, or if you could tell if the player picked up a bomb, then it would damage it, but that's probably kind of obtuse. Oh, run, around the, run around the warp pad as if it doesn't exist, or it's a gigantic hole in the ground. <laughs> oh, we got the warp pad detail working? I thought we never got that little, um, ah, like, dude. Thing Eventually to appear on it, did, the orange yeah. glow. That thing sucked <laughs> trying to get that working. And it used or to pad just... designed by CDI, of course. Well, first I made an attempt at it, and it ended up just looking like a black hexagon. <laughs> yeah, it was pitch black. <laughs> People would, would literally run around it. They're just scared they were like, to, like, I'm like, gonna avoid over it. This. And this is uh, still the original Goma from Demo 1. Yeah. Prime Evil Goma. Even though the intro card still says Prime Evil Goma. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've made. I don't think Goma will survive. Yeah. Do we, we have other ideas? Do we want to drop the, uh. <laughs> the idea? idea. What I keep saying? I don't know. It might be better as a secret. We keep it a secret. Let everyone know, though. I think I've tried it. 
I probably said it during an early live stream or something, but you can go back yeah. and find it. He'll, he'll find it, yeah. And then we'll guess what he's going to do. That's not it. <laughs> Too dumb. You're thinking of something else. <laughs> that, I mean, not the worst idea in the world. It's terrible. <laughs> have a have the real Goma <laughs> come out of the fake Goma. That would be really funny. <laughs> It like crawls out and it's just a lot smaller. It takes one hit to kill. That would be hilarious if you think you're gonna fight Goma again and it's really like a parasite inside of it that bursts out and you're fighting that. <laughs> <laughs> That's... That's way funnier. Uh, small oversight, I realized, uh, fellas. I didn't remove any of the enemies from <laughs> the outside the Deku tree after oh, the yeah. whole land is supposed to be cured here. Still wow. the landmines. I... I, yeah, well, landmines, you know, moblins put those there. If this area is so close in proximity that, you know, it's a little yeah, more, it, yeah, a little more it, dangerous. It, yeah, exactly, exactly. So. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not me just forgetting that this place existed when you oh, clear the forest. Of course not. Let's so now everyone in the, the forest. I love, I love this one. I love what she says. <laughs> Come on, Faina. What is what is her? Oh, it looks like she's crying, but her head tracking is turned on. So, yeah. <laughs> I always thought of it. I kind of thought of it like she was like, she was like, um, chewing hiding her behind her hands, <laughs> chewing on her fingernails. Oh, <laughs> uh, you have to go talk to uh, Timpo at the uh, debris. He's the one I really care about. Poor Dungo. <laughs> Oh, talk to uh, talk to Bulby in the maze. Oh yeah, okay. And also her, I guess if you want to talk to her too. Yeah, Bulby in the oh, maze. Oh man, poor uh, man is dejected. He's not having a good time. But this place is still really dark. I thought it would clear up. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> Bulby, are you okay? Damn. <laughs> I told you, dude. Nobody ever sees that, but <laughs> he is, he let, I mean, it was his fault, you know? He could have said so no. That's so Now you gotta go talk to Timpo, the only one that matters. The debris. Oh yeah, let me get him before. <laughs> and now that the forest is cleared, all the Kokiri can go back to their wonderful lives. Was working on getting the fuck the animation. <laughs> it's the rock lifting one. <laughs> oh, this is the one of them I didn't do. Dude. Really? So the other ones, whenever you talk to him before, uh, before you know you go talk to follow, it he does like a huff huff that's like really slow and strained, <laughs> and it's funny to watch. The forest may be free again. They are all Boge. so upset. Is it Boge? I, mean, I thought it was Bogey. <laughs> I say Bogey. It could be whatever. As I've said a million times to pretty much everybody, every name in Indigo can be said however the hell you want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> we have some really weird names in here. Nopal is one of them. Nafij is another Nopal? one. <laughs> Where? Yeah. The doc, the harbor master, Nopal. Really? That's how I pronounce it. I have one yeah, of my boys doesn't... clearing the debris. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we had a really hard time when we were designing this whole intro section of how do we stop the player from just going and getting the sword instantly and leaving the forest instantly. And the debris and having uh, Bulby there were our two solutions. And there was a lot of back and <laughs> forth on that for a long time. There was. Yeah, we struggled with that. I don't remember what the alternative was, though. It was like you we were going to have like a gate that follow would open to let you into the. Uh, oh, real, wow. Great cutscene. Well, you got to pretend. That was one of the coolest cutscenes I've ever seen, actually. Yeah. At one point, we were talking about having follow like meet you down in the bottom of the Deku tree. And yep. You yep. do all kinds of stuff like that. But uh, really? like, like we've said before, yeah. the cutscenes are the tooling for making cutscenes is, is just not quite there yet. So 
Yanis has, however, done uh, a Fast 64 PR that looks incredible for cutscenes. And, um... <laughs> Bimbo's a thug. I'm removing you myself. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, I, try, I spent a really long amount of time trying to give everyone in this entire pack, like, a personality. I would love a yes or no dialogue option when he says, should I remove you myself? <laughs> yes, and then you say yes, and he just picks you up and yanks you. <laughs> it says hold, on, the CDA, hold on, CDI. <laughs> I've got an idea. Oh, also, so biggest shout out to the world, the Ego Effect. It's Best music. track in the in the game. I can't hear it right now, but I know it's going off. Yeah, it's great. This is this is my favorite gag <laughs> that I put in. The gag. Yeah, what? This is this is Malari, dude. Yeah, gameplay element. Minish ambassador. Yeah. When we when we implement the Minish section. Uh, right. <laughs> just you know, be Go careful now, around swiftly. him. He's, he's pretty All small. right, buddy. Just be careful. <laughs> Poor Valari. Did you just? <laughs> well, I don't know it's if so I should talk about. I... Yeah. Do you guys remember the ideas we were throwing around for like what we could do with the Minish after that particular little moment? <laughs> just as like kind of funny things. Yeah, I, 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 I thought we had the idea. You know, maybe it's still a feasible idea of That's having what I was gonna say. like show up later, and he's like. <laughs> He's like all he's like staggered. Wounded, and, he's, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, no worries, you I'm sure it was an honest mistake. Did you step on him? Okay, since we're talking about it, I I remember having an idea that you would find like a pot or something, and they, they would talk to you from it, and you you have the option to kick the pot and shatter their entire like village <laughs> all across the wall. Uh, yeah, I mean there's still shit we could probably do with it. These this guys have my... a funny bug that I didn't want to fix. If they jump down a yeah. ledge like that, they just kind of start sliding. Oh, yeah, I uh, didn't do a very good job porting them. Kenton, that is not a bug. That, my friend, is a feature. Yeah, they're, they're very slippery. Also, I this was this was a huge topic of debate uh, amongst us all as well. But I said I would not allow the MM to be in the game unless they're mouth. Which is weird because we have so many other things with gross, disgusting mouths and teeth. There's just something about uh, the chews that from MM that I just despise. Like they're just <laughs> disgusting to look at. So we got them in the game with no mouth. How sad. What is this? So this is part of the lore of the game. Is uh, some great cataclysm happened, and there's a, a big scar that cut the land in half so we're on the north side of the plains and somewhere out over there is is the is the southern side but this was this was kind of a, i think a, a neat way to have a boundary without it just being surrounded by mountains if you fall down you void out you know you're not allowed over there because you you die oh who is this i don't know this not, is actually not as good as somebody else I've seen. <laughs> this is this is Romani from from Majora's. I yanked, I her, yanked her out of MM. Southern side will probably have different music. I remember setting up this whole quest. This was probably, actually, I take it entirely back. The hardest thing to decide about when making the demo was this whole progression section. Yeah, yeah I remember a lot of the discussion. How, how, do we, how do we let the player get to the two dungeons we without didn't, letting them just, right? We didn't want you to just be able to rapid fire dungeons. We wanted a little, a little extra content in between. And it was, there was a lot of, a lot of back and forth, and then we ended up deciding on the, the sword with Claire and her husband Hector, and of course everyone's favorite Hawthorne. Oh yeah, Hawthorne. Everyone Very loves good. Hawthorne. 
<laughs> also, the Scardita placement in this map was extremely lazy by me. <laughs> Anything that's just like underbaked or half thought is usually coming from me. I just, I didn't, I didn't want to do it, so I just threw a bunch of them around over here in this big empty area. It was just sick. I, at least you decided to put them near Scar stuff. You know, yeah, they're kind of like gravitating towards the scar, right? I do remember thinking that there should be more stuff over on the side. Yeah, I think I think got around to it. We need to flesh out the, the western side a little bit more. For sure. Yeah, it's pretty much just a big long walk. <laughs> yeah, I think on on the the field plan I made, I wrote down like dead and barren trees, something like that. And I just I never modeled them <laughs> and put them in. <laughs> Oh, I like this place. This was and is one of the two maps I made, and I'm not a map maker in the slightest. Luckily, CDI came through <laughs> and updated it all for me. And not that much, though. You not fixed up the house, the ground. Uh, there was a really big crash that happened behind the house as well. Yeah, there was a nasty crash back there. Weird, weird geometry. No, I... I don't know if it's in this version still, but I remember something about the trees is messed up. I think it got fixed. Trees? Yeah, there was something about the trees in the background where you caught on to me about it. You're like, you took my map and you broke it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I think I think it was the, the ground that I was like, why did you do that? And you're like, because. And I was like, I. Uh, or maybe. Whatever. Yeah. I think it used to be the opposite color. It wasn't red. Yeah, it, was it, it, was, it was darker, and you, you brightened it up with the decal, I think. I think or a layer. Yes. Something like that. And the only other map I made was inside this house. Good old Nafij. And this is one of the worst maps in the whole, in the whole game. You can just tell. It was not made by somebody who knows that. Huh? Look at this hey. little guy. What's I don't that? know what that is. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's just a doll on the shelf, dude. Get over it. Nafish has some collectibles. So Nafish is our, like, uh, it was it was a mechanism for us to just, like, dump new items on the player that we made and didn't have, an, like, a natural way for them to acquire them in the demo. So he'll, his reward would be a little more spaced out and realistic in the in the final game, but for the, for the sake of this demo, he just, like, is a gold mine for all the best stuff. I have something to confess. Yeah. Um, I don't think I understood until just this very moment that Oculite, like he like he collects eyeballs. Eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just thought it was like a little species you guys made up. <laughs> no, actually. So the fun fun thing about <laughs> Pegasus boots. I'll let you talk about Pegasus boots. Mind the fish stuff. I'll I'll do Pegasus boots when we get to the racetrack. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a good place. So the fun thing about Nafij is that. You know, I really wanted to do the Scardita and make it unique. Or, you know, or Skulltula make it unique. I made the Scardita. Mm -hmm. And I was, I did all that planning with a friend of mine in a call at like three o'clock in the morning. And then at four o'clock in the morning, we we're like, we need a guy, right? And all of that stuff, like with his design and his name and the Oculate, I was pretty much all my friend and not me. <laughs> and I just took nice. all of his ideas really? and stole them. Yeah, I know. I, I credit him in my heart, but <laughs> I don't think we need to put him in the credits for giving me the idea for Nafij. But uh, yeah, that is actually how you pronounce his name, by the way. I hear a lot of pronunciation differences and issues. I thought him. you could pronounce any name however you want. Yep. Oh, yeah, of course you can. But there's <laughs> you can just pronounce it wrong. wrong. Yeah. You didn't do the full... I made it so you could go all the way across this in one track. My angle was bad. There's a little guy over here somewhere. Uh oh. No, he's gone. We, there's a. Um, oh, did we move him? Yeah, I remember because of the bug. That's right. So there was a bug with Scardita that I still don't know why it happens. It probably still happens, but one of them just despawns. Nice. Out of nowhere for no reason. I didn't talk about the grottos the first time I got them, but this is this oh, yeah, is yeah, like yeah. a like a fast travel system. So you can enter one grotto and come out of another one. And this is probably not going to replace warp songs. We still haven't decided if we're going to have 
regular warp songs in the final game. But in the meantime, we have this network of, uh, of grottos that you can zip around the map. Yeah, that spot is still for a side quest later. There's usually goo in the fountain. Don't know why there wasn't goo in the fountain, but it doesn't matter because it goes up eventually. Yeah, I don't. Th I think it's meant to not be there um, when you first find it, right? Mm, it can so be. It has a. It has a. It has a day-night cycle thing that it does. Oh, uh, really? After you grab it the first time, and I think when it like originally loads, like for the first time you enter it, it has to set all that. And I forgot to like set a manual one, so I think the next time it goes back, it'll have goo in it. So, no worries about that. I also didn't talk about the snapdragons. These are another oh, enemy yeah, that I'm yeah. extremely happy with. I think they, they just on. turned out fantastic. Can you beat that uh, text again? The tail text? So I remember seeing this and thinking... What does it say? They use electromagnetic waves to navigate. Yeah. I remember reading it and saying, Kenton, <laughs> we do too. <laughs> That's like light. This one specifically. They don't have eyes. Yeah. They they yes, they sense yeah. them in a different way, like uh, like they, sharks. They or smell whatever, it, right? <laughs> All right, let's see yeah. if I can get through the little the gauntlet without losing my. Nope, immediately bonked before I made it through the first turn. <laughs> you didn't drift. <laughs> oh, it might be interesting to hear like these uh, little bends and kind of short areas of like. Uh, corridors almost these are separating separate rooms of this map so this map is not loaded all at once it's like one giant map In those yeah little, there's uh, no way the n64 could load this entire thing at <laughs> once yeah, yeah no so, way so those corridors are are loading sections yeah right and it was very meticulously designed so you wouldn't notice nice camera oh, oh yeah you can see are you the hermit that lives up on a colder mountain? Of course you are. There's no one else. I love this text. Shut up! I, I forgot! Implies, he's, uh, he's 40 years, years of my life. <laughs> <laughs> he moved for a little bit. <laughs> he's the oldest looking 40 year old you've ever seen. He does call himself an old man too. Yeah. That was, that's one of my biggest. He's had a rough, I actually think I fixed that. A rough build yeah. of things. Yeah, the scar has not, not, not been good, yeah. Um, no, I think in internally, I think I have that fixed, and I say 60 years now. So he was a little boy when the scar happened. These Hawthorne! Are, we have a lot of interiors in the city that we didn't feel like modeling in time for the demo, so... I just ripped a bunch from Majora's Mask and threw them in here. <laughs> I love Hawthorne, just in general. You seem like a guy who loves finely grained wood. <laughs> <laughs> no one seems to want my lumber. You know, someone mentioned the other day something that we had all brought up in development, but just never addressed. Um, that to get to this place, you have to climb a ladder, right? Okay, let me bring this up as a... How do you... Uh, how, like, it's, it's advertising for his business. What do you think that ladder's made out of? Uh, how to how to save his his business or how to save his failing business? How sad is one of my favorite things you added. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that flavor text is so good. I'm just saying I can see why the business is not that successful. If you have the <laughs> no all lumber down a ladder. No, what, who says his ladder is his ladder? His lumber is stored up here. He has a storage you deposit somewhere else. That's just for sales. That's the, oh, okay. the storefront. Uh, there, yeah, there you go. He's got a. There's another access point somewhere else. Yeah. Every single villager, of course, has unique dialogue. <laughs> Not all of them have dynamic dialogue, of course, but... This woman's hand. Yeah, I don't know why she's doing that. That's default, bro. I didn't do that. <laughs> this is clearly like a different style of NPC, these two together. <laughs> hey, I literally grabbed every single NPC I could find. Oh yeah, I can't see up here. This is the... this is the first... oh, that's a pretty good angle. This is the first version of the of the new sword, so you can in the final game you can upgrade we actually have all five versions of this sword already modeled out and you upgrade it over the course of the game for 
mainly cosmetics. We're not sure if they're gonna be a power increase with it or not yet, but I think that the sword upgrade was the only interesting part of Skyward Sword for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I In remember, this... Kenton, the, the sword upgrade thing. We talked about that, like, long, 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 long before we actually ever implemented it, too. That was one of the few things I was like, Skyward Sword? Swords. And you were like, all right, this is kind of dope. <laughs> CDI made them, though. Like, like, they they do look cooler if you... As you upgrade them, they get progressively, like, cooler and cooler. Way cooler. I made sure. What's the uh, version you, you get in the demo? It's like a three, level three. Old, I think it's three, three yeah. yeah. So it's, it's halfway cool. Um, I would have talked about this earlier, but I couldn't afford the shield at the time. So another feature that I really love, gameplay mechanic, is shield abilities. And they're, they're, it's kind of cumbersome to activate them. You hold Z and R and get into this and then hit B, like you're gonna draw your sword. And I don't have enough magic. Uh, so he yelled at me, so I can't even demonstrate them. So maybe I'll talk about that again later when I have magic. I just pulled up the swords on my end, looking at them, and they're really cool. Dude, they're so good. <laughs> Let me <laughs> tell you something. Like Boy howdy, level 5, though. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, look forward to that. Oh, you missed talking to the little girl. I'll get, I'll get some uh, milk. No. You want to be the only money. person to ever buy a potion from Nigel? <laughs> oh, yeah. I Sell can't afford them. They're too expensive. Oh, my God. This was such a banger <laughs> when you uh, when you dropped this whole area and this NPC <laughs> on us. Yeah, it was very... You didn't say anything. You <laughs> didn't say anything. Just... <laughs> So just this... put in the in the chat. <laughs> what could this it milk be? has an interesting texture. <laughs> this is a, a reference to another ROM hack, Master of Time. It has the best story. One of the best. Seen. One of the best. And I stand by that. Look beyond the flaws and look directly into the story <laughs> and the writing. Oh, and I think uh, the background music in that, like, Milk Bar isn't... It's not like Milk Bar music, is it? No, kind that's... Of the track that's, we had. That's one of Just my wanted songs. wanted to use the song. Oh, I love the Superman yeah, jump. that's right. Yeah. No, the song that plays in the Milk Bar is a song I wrote for a different area, but it's so good. <laughs> Kenton just threw it in there, I guess. <laughs> And it has a very big reference to, I can't even remember what, but Kenton was adamant I had to add that in. It's one of my, like, favorite video game tracks ever, uh, which is Farazan from World of Warcraft. <laughs> There's some really, a really good, uh, good song with the uh, harpsichords that I just love, so I asked Tisuya to do something up similar to that. Nice and I love harpsichords, so... <laughs> Yeah, only like the first 15, 20 seconds of the song actually reference it, and then I go sicko style. <laughs> but somebody actually did notice that it was there, which is nice to see. Shout out to the one guy who heard that. You can't believe you just stabbed Claire. <laughs> yeah, I kind no, of right? forgot what I was doing there. <laughs> just impale her, go back to Hector. I'm nice so sorry, more. dude. Oh, you can't watch her. Damn. I know. Look at that lumber. Yeah, this. So the, we talked about the this like story mission in order to get past the next section of dungeons. I, I kind of realized there was a lot of back and forth between like the city and Claire. So I gave you an option if you had like if maybe later we'll have more stuff to do in the field if you don't want to go back, but you can just walk back with her and it will load you into the shop as a little bit of a time save. Oh yeah. I think the I think the perfect way to do it is you. Go get lumber first. Uh, go run and get the warp spot in Igatha. Uh, road to Igatha, and then talk to her. Mm -hmm. Then you, then it's like you have that back walk, or that way back. Level three. Here it is, boy howdy. 
Boy, how many level five though? <laughs> it does look really good. We're just we're t sitting here talking about how great it is, and nobody else can see. So sad for the viewers. Hey, it's for hype. Yeah, this this I this whole we went back and forth about the flat blade. In I think of flat the, uh, blade is so worth it. It was man. a good choice. I think it looks great. The polygons the count yeah, a little higher, but it's worth, worth it. it. Worth it. Absolutely. We know what color it is. A no. color that is on the spectrum of visible light that you are able to perceive, unless you are colorblind. <laughs> there we go. Red potion. Is it paper thin? Yeah, it gets thinner the <laughs> more you upgrade it. <laughs> That'd be funny. Where do you think you're going, buddy? Um, should I do the ship first? I guess I'll do the ship first, huh? You have to go talk to Garland, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't even get there. Oh, you didn't even go in the, uh... I totally skipped the mayor, yeah. Bomb shop. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't done anything yet. <laughs> Oh, this little girl is so mean, actually. Let me talk to her. And she stops chasing the chicken. Yeah, didn't you just pretty much copy and paste my gigantic... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, 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 I had a document full of all the stuff I wanted people in the village to say, or in the city to say, and for her, I just <laughs> wrote a bunch of stuff. Wow. She's evil. <laughs> I haven't read this before. <laughs> <laughs> She's brutal. It's all about him. I'm just saying, her mommy said a lot of that. Not uh, not her. She's just repeating. Not her. And that's so. can, you, can you find this mommy oh. in the village? I love this guy's yeah, head. Okay. He's a uh, chestnut head. Uh, that, that guard behind him is my favorite guard in all of the guards. Guards were a late addition, too. I added them in, like, the week before it went up. Yeah. Garland is a obviously a, one of the Gerudo. Um, the model started off as the the ones with the swords, the red ones, or maybe it was Noburo. No, it was the ones with the swords, yeah. And then I just uh, did like a palette swap and cut off cut off the bangs on one side. Um, it's kind of rushed. We wanted to have an original model for her, but I think she turned out okay. She looks pretty good. I, I also I like love her. that she just yeah. towers over Link. <laughs> Link has always Link? been short. <laughs> Link is short, but she's also just tall. It's like Rudo jeans. Some more lore dump. Yeah, a lot of talking. Big, big, uh, big friend of Casca, unfortunately. Yeah, she also has a pretty diverse dialogue tree, depending on when you talk to her throughout different states of the game. Like here, this is a special dialogue if you happen to help Claire before you talk to her the first time. Otherwise, she's like, I'm not going to help you until you get better weapons. Yeah, a lot of the uh, a lot of the dialogue in the game, aside from like random normal NPCs, have an insane amount of like contextualism to them. Mm -hmm. Lots of people say lots of different things when you talk to them. Like the guard outside. This is our wonderful story about the sigils and the uh, scar and the seals. This, this I think we we also wanted to make into a cutscene at some point. Yes, later. this would also be a back and forth again, Anything not just an like, info dump. Yeah, yeah. But it's twenty text boxes or more. It was meant to be a cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally just an more. info dump for the sake of people just having the context to know what's going on. Oh man, because oh, yeah, I she... bought your stupid potion, I don't have enough for bombs. Bombs? Oh, oh shoot. Really? Uh, you can go back. I don't need it for the ship. Oh, I... no, never mind. <laughs> you should definitely talk to that guard, though. Which one? The one behind uh, Garland's house. Someone says they want to see Irene in the final game. She She mentions, like, two people you don't know about or something. I think there's a lot of that in this demo, like people name dropping other people that you just you yeah. never see. I've been her guard for over six years, you know. Most I've seen is the back of her neck. Oh my god! The door frame is light, and the candle sleeps in through the. Oh, you know. I don't remember that text. I, 
I don't think he should be a car. <laughs> He's a big fan. Yeah, there are um, there are a lot of name drops for characters that might exist, might not exist in the full uh, release. Guess we'll have um, to see. I can say you probably won't be seeing Ice. Uh, you might for, see Maple, though. I do want to make Maple. Yeah. Irene, unfortunately, has uh, run into some problems <laughs> in a very special place. Oh, this tail hint. I, I totally forgot about this. There's a there's a trigger here, a contextual trigger, um, right where I'm standing right now. That prompt, that tail prompts you to be like, okay, where do you want to go? Because we wanted you to be able to complete dungeon two or three in either order. So tail is like trying to gently nudge you into informing you that that's a possibility. Unfortunately, or fortunately, shipyard is done about done first about 95% of the time. Pretty much because everybody it's closer. does. Yeah, it's right around the corner here. You know, I think difficulty-wise, it, it seems a little more intended, but also I like the freedom. Yeah. I, the original concept was that the item you get from uh, the village helps you in the ship, and then the item in the ship helps you in the village. That fell off slightly with the village because I had to remove one of the major puzzles that it helped with because it was actually too helpful. <laughs> Uh, but if you go to the village first and then go to the ship, you a lot of the puzzles are just like <laughs> a breeze. Yeah. However, uh, I don't think there's a single magic drop in the ship itself. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm actually not sure if I put any magic. You gotta load up before you go in. This is Nopal. Nopal. Yeah, okay. How do you pronounce it? Nopal. I don't think Igatha is harder in terms of, like, completing it, but the puzzle in, like, the overarching puzzle in Igatha is definitely a lot harder to figure out. I think it's also just kind of longer, in general. It, if you don't know what you're doing, yeah, it's a lot longer. But if you know how to do it, you can get through it in, like, less than 10 minutes. Just beeline the three rooms you need to go to. <laughs> Ooh, you're at 15 already. You know what that means. Oh shoot, can I even get, can I get down here? Maybe oh, I can use the nope, bomb? Nope, not, not until after. No, that's not a thing yet. Ah, oh, he throws it too it to far. Be a thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> too, mu too much, uh, oomph, too much oomph on that. It's actually really funny how many people think you're gonna drive the ship. I know, I... Skiff. I was lazy. I, it, it is a custom actor, actually. Let me go. Let me go back and look at it. Um, it kind of, it kind of has some some floating in the water, which I thought turned out looking pretty well. This is the uh, the boat from the Pirate Fortress in MM with uh, just some parts cut out of it, and it's just a loading zone to get to the ship. I love the way it bobs and weaves. I do. <laughs> Welcome to is the that, Dread Captain flagship, everybody. Is that a small chilla? It sure is, buddy. Oh my god. <laughs> I actually forgot it appeared. I see you up there hiding. So this Dread Captain's flagship uh, is one of my dungeons. I actually modeled this. Designed, designed and modeled it, and then I handed it off to Astrea Lava, and he made it look like it does now because I'm terrible at you know textures and decorations and colors and all this stuff so all this stuff on the walls the barrels all the textures all the lighting all the coloring that's all Australia he also added some bits if I remember correctly yeah there's there's a, a couple a couple puzzles um, he had some great ideas for towards the back half I used to actually hide a small key up here there's a ledge right up there and part of their part of progression was to notice that small key and in playtesting everybody was just getting stuck here so got rid of it I honestly thought it was still in there okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, can I still remember the, uh, you just messaged me and you were like, you want to see what I've been working on? And then you just walked in here, like, almost had, like, the first entire half done. <laughs> like, so insane. I think you had the, the, the ball in, the cannonball in already. Yeah, I, I really wanted to do some of the cannonballs. These, these balls are, uh, another custom custom actor they do have rolling physics and now it bouncing oh they actually bounce yeah off walls yeah. oh oh i thought you meant like on the ground like a it's like a, a cannonball ball. i'm not supposed to do that <laughs> i don't know i was confused i didn't correct me if i'm wrong kenton but didn't nitro help you with the code for that i thought he said he written like a thesis <laughs> um i don't actually remember we have to check the git history uh, I just I remember, remember specifically in a chat he dropped you like a, a like an actual paper he had written about rolling cannonball physics spheres. <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. Wow. <laughs> I'd have to I'd have to ask him specifically. There's only one thing I remember about the dev for the cannonball stuff, and it's that when you first threw them, they would sound like Rudo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah as a placeholder name, yeah. and you picked it up, it would be the Rudo squeaks. Um, Yurith in chat, yes, cannonballs were the ball and chain before I decided to make it an actor. I was originally just going to do ball and chain, and I was like, you know what, we're on a pirate ship. Maybe there's a part where Link just, like, goes up to the deck and hulks an anchor right off of the deck and uses that as a weapon. So I transformed it into the into the anchor that we'll see later. Which yeah, I now that you mention so it, though, much cooler. You don't really need the anchor. You find it in like a chest or something, right? Yeah, yeah. Crazy. that might be. That might be. That might be worth a revision. Going back and actually pulling it up would be kind of cool. Yeah, Scardita. Would you be able to upgrade your shield just like the sword? Uh, maybe design-wise, but I don't think we'd actually make them stronger. I mean, how much stronger could they be? Lower the cooldown. The only thing about the shields that I know we need to change is that, like, Grandma's mirror. The mirror shield, shield is the best yeah. shield in the world. It's so bad. I came over. I, I, I did it in like 20 minutes. Yeah, I did it in 20 minutes, and then I immediately said we need to change it. And you guys put it in. I, I think it's awesome, dude. It it it's looks like it's truly a mirror. It, it a mirror that you'd find in like your grandma's bathroom. <laughs> That's the best part. Kenton, you want to talk about what just happened there? <laughs> yeah, this this was a, a fun room. This is like the bilge tank of the ship that's partially flooded. Um, oh, shoot, I didn't mean to fall. There are enemies that, you know, as you're swimming in this dark area, they grab you and pull you under. It's actually just a... There are five giant invisible like-likes <laughs> down there, and their hitbox extends far enough up that when you swim over top of them, it sucks you down into water. And I added a redead scream for effect. This room is honestly, I think, the coolest in the entire ship. Maybe, honestly, in the entire hack. Like, this room is so cool. <laughs> Just like that, the eeriness of that platform being solely lit in the pit of, like, black. Yeah, it turned out really well. Gorgeous. It's really, it's interesting to look at, the, like, the old design for the ship that I had before Australia. Uh, grabbed it. That, it that bottom section I was just in is another one of the parts that Australia improved significantly. I think the end result is a huge step up. Yeah, there's a there's a real reason why we we have actual map modelers and not <laughs> Kenton or I tempting all the maps. <laughs> yeah, I I don't remember fixing any like Kenton maps though. Are there any? Most of them were replaced. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them were replaced by Australia or you. Or me for uh, the maze, but then you also touched it. So. Yeah, that's true. I guess this is one of those rare cases where it's like pretty much the original model Kenta made with like added stuff on to make it pretty. A right. touch of paint. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I can show that show that bug I was talking about. I just just discovered this the other day. If you try to backwalk, so this is a climbable uh, surface, and if you try to backwalk off of the ledge of one of them, 
Okay, great. This is the best kind of bug. One that doesn't happen all the time. <laughs> nice. Okay. Is this cool. I can't show it off. It doesn't trigger there. It's even more fun to figure out what's going on with. <laughs> yeah, I think I saw you put an issue in for it, right? Something with shimmy? Yeah. With shimmy? That's what I suspected it was, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's something else. Go, go, go. I remember a discussion about the flame color here, how it's like green on the torch, but like yeah. orange when you light it. And Kenton just kept yelling and he was like, the, the material that's burning is what <laughs> okay. causes the flame color. It These is. Clearly copper flames. <laughs> People want like the fire to be the magical property. It's not magical fire, it's just, you know, just regular it's fire. It's the lighting in the room of the fire, of the light bouncing off the walls. Into well, he, he was saying that there must cannon. be you saying there must be copper inside of the torch that's burning green, and then when you burn your stick, that's like a normal wood, so it just burns like orange. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's the one torch in Bigatha in the boss battle room that turns purple. <laughs> is that because of magic or because there's I'm uh, sure there iron is some... in there? Or is there tungsten in the Yeah, in the plane? there's some metal tungsten out there. Torch. Yeah. That one works too. Weird. <laughs> You'll never get it anymore. Yeah, Deku sticks are actually the thing made of copper. Only in the uh, ship, though. <laughs> that would be kind of fun. Nice Deku game. stick that burned a different color. I actually love this puzzle as well. It's like so simple, but the switch so... on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like such a simple thing, but it like really shows off the versatility of just having an item you can just chuck. <laughs> And it's been there since like what day one or something. Mm -hmm. That did yeah. not change. There was originally a Stealthos in here that you'd fight. What's that? Yeah. yeah, there's a ring of fire surrounding the ladder. Oh, oh yeah, I had, I had like a whole build at one point, right? I do remember yeah. that. They're actually uh, having this uh... was a, was a problem with these switches. Their collision. If you walked up to it, you would just void out because you're yeah. touching <laughs> touching the collision of the switch. And it counts as a ceiling, and it would just void link out. So I had to, I had to edit the code for the switch to, to not do that. Yeah, originally that there wasn't like the nets that you used to climb. There was just a ladder in the middle of the room, surrounded by fire and a stealthos. And then you kill <laughs> the right. The fire goes away. I remember telling Kenton that uh, fire would burn down the ship or something like that. <laughs> Nitpicking. <laughs> this is, I think, the most infamous puzzle in all of ship yeah <laughs> i this uh, this hurts people so much <laughs> i think the longest i've seen spent on it was 20 minutes really somebody spent like legitimately 20 minutes on this puzzle it might be worth adding like symbols above the windows or something that shows they're connected i mean they do yeah. look identical but oh yeah let me back walk off the ladder see if that works and then did you yeah. avoid the arrow in the knee text? I, I skipped that, that puzzle by using boomerang strats. Wow. We'll, 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 we'll get it later. Yeah, there is there is another way. You can uh, peek up through this hole and see it. It's really awkward, right though, angle. sometimes. Yeah. Like, a lot of people look up and don't see it, and then they never look up again. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of detrimental, isn't it? If you look up and you just don't see it. There actually is a place on the ship where you can go through a curtain. That's where one of the Scardita is in the room where you drop down into the bilge. Yeah. There's a Scardita behind a, a curtain. This this was another big sticking point. People didn't look up at the ceiling to see this, so I added this little uh, Skull Waltzilla here to kind of draw your attention to it. But what happens is people enter the room, immediately kill the Skull Waltzilla, and then forget about it. Really? <laughs> and never look up there yeah. again. I think ZFG ended up doing that. Again. <laughs> it's actually even worse when people kill the Waltilla, climb up here, see that it's locked, drop down, and then completely forget that it ever existed. That one always hurts too. One of those Shout things that to... dungeon maps can help solve when we get around to yes, doing those. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Ooh, I like this place up here. This, ent this entire area. I can't remember if 
Kenton, did you make this entire area, or is, did Australia add it after? Um, I feel like he, I made I the I made the ship this. part, and he did all the this uh, environment stuff, and then CDI and I worked together to kind of get the the clouds. Yeah, the clouds are so beautiful. The way they like mesh around each other. Yeah, the ship is definitely more of a standard Zelda dungeon than the village is. The village is very unique. Yeah. Whether that's good or bad, it's for you to decide. <laughs> These, uh, the sails were another actor. I, the, so super simple. I threw this together in probably like 15 minutes to get them animated and wobbling back and forth. But it's such a nice touch. I think it adds a lot to Dude, it. Dude, you, you gotta show it off when you do the snake eater climb. It's like, that is one of the most beautiful shots in gaming history. <laughs> I don't I don't remember it being 15 minutes because I remember you thinking that you would do like vertex manipulation and then you gave up. Yeah, and you're like, I'm that's just right. I, I, I yeah. spent a long time trying to do it uh, with matrix math and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to rig it and animate it in Blender. With... Yeah, just use bones. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody and knows the difference. So worth it. Yeah, so you got the anchor now. Yeah. Really cool I mean, you can talk about the fight and then the anchor. This fight technically came first. Yeah, this they this, did, this did fight it. was in the uh, in the first demo. Um, modified a little bit of the sorrow. <laughs> Oops, I yeah, I, I remember the first version of this fight. It didn't auto load the cannonballs, right? Yeah, it was very tedious. So I added this little little mechanism. You'll see when after a, a minute here. It should drop out another cannonball. Yeah, and then just falls directly on top of the cannon and reloads it. <laughs> now, is that like some kind of special code between the two, or is it just literally dropping the cannonball? It's, the it's cannon? just it's just it's spawning. The, the cannonball has gravity, so it just spawns one. And I had to position it so it falls into the <laughs> into the loading trigger of the cannon. So, so if you would like move the actual spawn point, it it wouldn't work. It would break. It's yeah. not like a wow. It's very delicate. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, a lot of people still don't even realize that it's actually preloaded when you come into the room. Yeah, I wonder, you know, maybe a later revision have more cannons in the ship to kind of make it clear that if the wick is up, it's already loaded, or or maybe just redesign this fight because it, it's still, I think, uh, it's a little tedious. I'm not completely happy with it. I think it's still a fun, unique little fight. Yeah, I like the base idea. It just it. Somehow. Actually, utilizing the anchor is really cool. How it utilizes the anchor, I guess, seeing as, you know, these are the only way to actually kill heavy, thick boned enemies. As you know, there's, all, there's actually a battle mechanic within Indigo Men. Not all weapons work against certain enemies. Very true. There we go. Can you get the spin? Can you get the spin? The spin. Yeah! Oh. The spin. Oh, the spin. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's actually a good point. Oh, yeah. Point. We, we changed the colors of the boss chest texture just ever so slightly. It just like Q shifted the texture. I think it looks better. saturated a bit too. Much better. It's weird that we changed the texture for that, but we don't have like different door textures. Yeah, just have the giant here. spirit temple door, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We took the time to make a, a custom skeleton key model. It's so, that model looks so good. That's one you it's made, right? So high poly, that's yeah. why. <laughs> I know. It's, I mean. It's extremely high poly. That thing is it dense. It shows up in one spot. What's it gonna do? Break the game? Um, Just Ryland Shaman's intended animation. It was at the time, because like I made that enemy like yeah, a year up, ago initially. Best, this is a beautiful shot with no hot ons. <laughs> you can see the flags and also snake even <laughs> for everybody. Like the way that the fuck, the, the like green swirling at the top and the waving of the flags. Oh my Very god. Very cool. It's nice. That's a gorgeous shot. Can you find a dead body up here, skeleton? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he has no he head. I don't was, think I ever noticed he was, that. He was too scared. He died. Who of added him. that if you didn't notice it? Uh, Australia. Australia. He did all the uh, decorations. Smart. What were you he's saying actually, about the shaman, though? 
yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, it was it was such an early enemy that I, I bear at the time I barely knew what it was doing. So that was like the extent of my animating skills. And over the past year, I like to imagine I've gotten better. So yeah, maybe in the future I'll take another pass yeah, at it and right. give them some more, give them some uh, more fancy animations. I remember one of the earliest ideas we had for the ship, and well, I think we kind of decided we wanted ball and chain slash anchor pretty early on, mm -hmm. but making destructible all those barrels and stuff that litter around destructible. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are they? No, no. Sadly. That was an idea that was tossed around. Oh, but it'd be a fun idea. It would be I a like great it. one. I, I was about to be so happy. I thought that this was hidden for me. No, no, no. I was like, oh, I would God. love it to be. But maybe one day. Maybe one day. Although, are they nice. used for like platforming? Oh. Oh no. So this this oh. Rita is another one of the. It's a cruel gag. There's an invisible loading trigger right here in front of the chest, and once you touch that trigger, it instructs the Rita to spawn. So he's just waiting for you. <laughs> once you reach this point in the room, I think it. I think it'll reset too. Just no, Ryland, that's no, actually maybe, hilarious. Maybe I'm, only one. I might, I might personally do that. <laughs> I wouldn't understand what what a throw the reference. Yeah, the reference I don't. I don't either. know sneaky that well. It's a beautiful song. The longest ladder climb in gaming history. Second only to Indigo. Oh, uh, if you notice, the key counter is an infinity symbol. It's it's actually just an eight rotated fun fact you'll, you'll never guess what an infinity symbol is normally as well no i mean it's like okay never mind it's the actual eight no. i guess digit <laughs> oh, okay. go back up and get the silver rupee on optimal oh yeah nice <laughs> The small silo destroying you. You're gonna get hit. Nice. Of course. I had to. I had to include one, at least one groaner, and that's that's my my allocation. This is the um. This is the uh. uh I thought the pond was deeper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the first demo. Exactly. Just one one bad joke. The way that you actually went to the effort to make the arrow stick out, though. <laughs> it's actually so good. Just a couple seconds. Last one down here. Like what, 30 minutes maybe the arrow stays there? Uh, how long does the arrow stay there? I don't know, it's probably like 30 seconds. Yeah, that's what I think, probably. I think you made that lock just with the locks on stream, didn't you? Yes, you're right. They're mainly also, this... just for flavor in this dungeon, but we may we may reuse the lock chests in the future. Yeah, that that signpost originally said Hisuya, by the way, it wasn't Pete. For some reason, I left all the <laughs> all the windows open. I don't know why, but I did. Thank God, Pete took the blame for me, though. Also, oh, we ever gonna fix the uh, off chance for the keys to just fly through the wall? I mean, we should, but it happens so rarely. You can it's like it's one of those low priority backlog issues that nobody will probably ever do. Oh, yeah, uh, this probably. I I didn't mention this before. These like narrow corridors. Um, I actually wrote a new a new camera. So the the floor in OOT, depending on uh, properties of the floor collision polygon that you're standing on, determines information about how the camera is going to act. So I wrote a a new uh, camera that like is just really tight on these on these corridors right behind Link, and it helps a little bit. It's like so subtle, and nobody ever notices it except for me. But I don't know. The things you choose to spend time on are not always the most noticeable. They're it's, the most fun. It's the little things that people don't notice that, you know, you can appreciate the most. Because they'll be like, oh, I just, it was so natural. I didn't even think about it. 
Also, who made the stick buckle? Was that CDI? Was that you or Shredo? Oh, um, I made those. I made the stick and the nuts. You did those? Really? I thought. Oh no, Shredo. Shredo did the sticks. I did the nuts. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that stick bundle was made by Shredo. <laughs> Nice. Good jump. Get hit. Aw, oh, you cheater. <laughs> oh, that, that was one of the shield abilities that I used. So the, the shield ability okay. for the kite shield is armor lock, and it basically like just makes you immune to the next source of damage and then reflects it back. So cool. It's actually very, very powerful. It does, it does um, the same damage type as the anchor. So anything that's vulnerable or weak to the anchor will just get obliterated by that armor lock ability. The other one is the uh, is like a life drain with this shield. If it you send out these little particles and if they touch an enemy, it'll sap some of their life and return it to you. That uh, swinging scythe in the last room was my first ever custom actor from the ground up. And uh, it has a bunch of different modes, actually, where it freely swings or does that lock swing. And I'm so happy that you put the lock swing in there because it is so funny. <laughs> yeah. It used to just not even have... There's like a crack in the wall where you can see it go through. <laughs> it used to not have that. And it used nice. to just be you could see the ring in the ceiling. Yeah, it was like almost invisible. And everyone kept saying that was kind of bull. This this I jumping puzzle, um, I spent like honestly like three days trying to tweak to have it so that they're spaced out perfectly enough. So you can have, you can do either side hops um, or backflips also work to cross to cross the planks. I'm pretty sure. If yeah. you just In... get the right angle and then you can just spam the side hop or spam the backflip button to get across them. Uh, you can Pegasus dash through it right now, but in the actual release, you will not have Pegasus boots by now. Can I? Can I make it across? Yeah, you can. Almost. Hold ya. <laughs> I just like doing backflips. I think they're the coolest. Copper torches. Oh. Copper torches. I really like these extra rooms, honestly. Like, even though they're not necessary. Yeah, it's it's it, again, it's mostly just flavor in this particular dungeon. Like, all these pirates have stashed away their treasure. You get the skeleton key, and if you want, you can just raid the ship for a bunch of goodies, extra money, and upgrades and stuff. I love that Deku nut model. So cute. <laughs> it's, it's just four Deku nuts stacked on top of each other. Most of Nafija's items are future dungeon items. Only you have. Uh, yes, they are going to be future dungeon items. Are you cheater? <laughs> I still got hit. Uh, yeah, he, he'll have a bunch of stuff. It's not really like 100% decided what he'll have yet, but it'll be worthwhile. Probably not the Stone of Agony. And that, that's it for the ship. Congratulations. Two dungeons down. Would you now let's go have... fight that boss. Yeah, yeah! Skellington boss! Would you like to have any final words about your wonderful ship? Yeah. This this sign is just an apology. Like, here's a boss door, but you don't get to fight a boss. So sorry. It's being saved for the final being release. The boss is being saved for the final release. Yes. Yeah. It's completely done. You know, didn't just... want to put it in yet. No spoilers, you know. Well, we didn't even talk about the defense hearts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like a last second edition, too. Yeah, it was actually... Uh, CDI's idea to just have the ability to acquire them. Um, I really liked it, and I thought about it some more. I was like, hey, what if instead of heart containers granting an extra heart, they just give you one defense heart? So now we can have way more heart pieces in the world 
because every, for every one heart container, it's four heart pieces, right? So we can just load the world up with, uh, with heart pieces, and that's how you get more health, but to get your defense up and to kill the bosses. I think it, it'll be a fun. We'll see. We'll see how the how the system ends up working uh, later on. Because right now you get way more hearts than you can have defense hearts. So the defense hearts end up being kind of useless. Oh yeah, I can build the rock. Nice ball. This is dash used to be able to destroy rocks, but we took that out. It breaks. Okay. Also, we should open the we should up the call distance on the piece of heart here. <laughs> yeah. Very true. I'm happy most people end up walking over because you know, I would do not explore this awesome room, but <laughs> you also don't see it right away. You got the quickest path back to Igatha. I need bombs. Oh, well, it's not technically. I guess I could do it without bombs. Right? Not a, yeah, not mm. anymore. Uh, you can also talk to Garland. Nobody ever talks to him again after they do the village. Oh, or actually, that reminds me. Another another dumb little Easter egg. Let me go talk to Nopole again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is like a really dumb Easter egg. <laughs> I've only seen one person actually do it though. So, what what's oh. dumb is that there's another area where same problem could happen, that you handle it entirely differently, right? Yeah. You can actually get infinite rupees from him. There's no limit. If you're desperate, you can just farm rupees. <laughs> Igatha. Igatha. Yeah, that's how I say it. You can say Igatha. Igatha. I don't think it matters. Huh? Sorry, I walked away for a second. What doesn't matter? Uh, how do you pronounce, you pronounce Igatha? Igatha? Oh, I say Igatha. Someone said they pronounce it Igatha. Igatha? Yeah, Igatha is like the second most, but it's based on uh, where I came up with it was from uh, Agatha, so Igatha. Oh, like Twilight Princess? Yeah. So it's it's literally the I and the A swapped around. Huh. Oh. It has nothing to do with her. <laughs> I know. I just, I was having trouble coming up with a name, and then I flipped those two letters, and I was like, holy shit. <laughs> While I'm in here, another small touch I added, these uh, refill stacks. So there's like the small one if you just need a few or you don't have money or you just buy as many as you can carry. I think it's a lot better than the vanilla system. Up, it ends up being cheaper in the end, right? Yeah, yeah. No, you, you, if you buy in it bulk, says 300. it's cheaper. It says 300. Do you actually pay 300 if you don't have enough to like yeah, fit it's, the full amount? <laughs> I mean, if you only if you only have, if you've got, you know, 49 bombs, you can only carry 50. He'll he'll sell you as many as you can carry for 300 rupees. <laughs> that is so not a good deal. <laughs> I mean, it's a great deal if you have one bomb and you want to carry 50. Oh, let me I'll do uh I'll do Gale while I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gale is supremacy, Gale supremacy in this chat. Everyone's got their got their indigo waifu. It's just you. Oh, no. It's got Claire. I got Gale. Some people like Garland. Yeah, I don't have, uh, I don't have yeah, one you yet. Do. Yeah, you do. You know it's uh, Everyone knows it's Another CDI map. I came up with, <laughs> I quote unquote, came up with the uh, layout. This is one, one of my favorite up with. I mean, I, I had some I really nice cow drawings. It, I had some it. wonderful I cow briefly. drawings. <laughs> There's no cow here. It. Put that in the public. Yeah. Public I'll post it in the indigo chat. 
uh, after the stream if anyone wants to see my initial design for uh, Mid Valley Ranch. The one thing I'm proud of here is those windmills are like the lowest poly windmills I could possibly muster up. They're all like 2D it's, textures. It's just triangles. Yeah, it's four triangles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really good. They look awesome. Yeah, yeah CDI will use well. four triangles to make a windmill, and I'll use 400 to make a key. Yeah. <laughs> Gale is a is a really highly repurposed melon. I don't think it's different could, enough. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you would actually be able to tell all that much if I don't say it. But she, she has a long neck. <laughs> I don't think it's that long. I think it's the shading. It's, it's probably the shading, as we've talked about. Yeah, this was my own model. Messed up. Someone just needs to open the model and recalculate the normals. That's all. This is uh, this mini game I'm about to start is. The most it was it took it took us the longest to get this one down, um, but I wanted to do something that was kind of like the alien invasion in Majora's, and I think uh, I think where we ended up landing is is kind of neat. This it, it's really cool. So much fun. Are you gonna I think get only, a walk into? It? Yeah. yeah. Are you? Got it. I mean, I'm gonna try. I'm not gonna use. I'm not gonna use save states, but we'll see. I think the only issue with this is that people don't realize what they're doing when they hit. All right, let's do this because they didn't read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the issue then, is is that she explains very specifically, this is not easy. You should not do this when you're weak. You know, are you absolutely sure you want to do this? And then just spamming A. I think it might be better to rephrase that second option as like a, wait, what did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe pull the old uh, Kipora Gibora and flip yes and no. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably <laughs> exactly what needs to be oh, done. Oh, that's true. Actually, that's a really good point. Uh, try hard nukes, Matt. Thank you. She is the best NPC in the game. Oh, I love these little names that we came up with. Because, like, the ridge. Yeah, it, th that was something. This whole cutscene was very hard to get down. Because I didn't want you to be able to, like, just spam through the text to not know what she was saying when the battle starts. But at the same time, it's kind of a long cutscene. But I think it's a good answer being alright. Yeah. Especially because the instant she starts saying names, you now have to be like, oh. <laughs> and then you I would love for this to be an actual cutscene as well inside Gail's house. Just them Gail eating dinner together. That brings you food. <laughs> yeah. Instead of just a black screen. She does but. fill you up full hearts and magic, I think. Right? Yep, that's true. Yeah. What meal are they having? Uh <laughs> chicken. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You gotta make use of them. Uh oh, off the bad start. Uh oh. From the barn. Come on, Kenton. The boomerang is is. You uh, made this thing. The boomerang powered. makes this actually free. Boomerang and actually Pegasus boots. Like being able to dash to the uh, two goes. Oh, I didn't think about that. I do it all. Over. Like that one that's always by the stable. He's so hard to get to quickly. Oh, I just now I have to. I'm gonna have to wonder. Uh. Oh. Oh. I wonder if we're gonna see the text box I'm wondering about. Oh, <laughs> Arnold? Yeah, I was gonna ask. It, is that always guaranteed to be like the name that you see? Yes. Arnold. Yeah. Okay. I could. I thought about adding in. Maybe I will. This would be a. This would be something nobody would ever notice. But I'm I could add right each Kuko having a having a specific name. And if that one dies, every time they die, she screams out their name. <laughs> That's what I thought would happen. I could do that. It's not possible. It's funny. Why is the music Kuko sound so tragic? Yeah. Is this important? That is, a, that is a directly in front of you. Windmill, no! Question. Get there, get there, get there! Oh, oh no, 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 no! <laughs> Tragedy. I got one. Poor Arnold. Oh, my sweet baby. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I'm falling apart now. Dex percent is over. Late percent. You know, you, you think that she put down like fake kukos or something as a distraction. Ah, dude, she says these are it. These are all she's got. 
Yeah, just like a little stuff, like a good ball or something. <laughs> yeah, these aren't smart. You're a little rusty, brother. It's no right. kidding. Still love you. Still love you. Ooh, that anchor throw, that was crazy. Will Gale forgive you? No. <laughs> Does she hate your guts, though? No. She's just disappointed. Gale has a lot of things she can actually say to you based on how well you do in position. If you get none, she's like... <laughs> not happy. She's very mad. Uh, if you get some of them, you get just like default. Oh, that really sucks, you know, I wish you could have gone don't die. And, uh, <laughs> if you die, uh, if you die, she is, she's like, wow, <laughs> you suck. Yeah, this is not going well. You got this, buddy. Oh, on the yeah, return. What an awesome freeze that was. <laughs> that was nasty. And not even running around while you drink. All my effort. Well, I didn't have to because my amazing boomerang boss. It's some of my cuckoos. Yep, she says everything. She says something different every time. It's a real shame my darlings didn't make it. Now, what is this? Uh, what's this house man? Uh, um, it doesn't, it's set to daytime. <laughs> so, because it's night outside, it's dark in here. <laughs> this is a very temporary scene. This is the house from MM, right? Yeah. yeah. Literally, all I did was I, you imported the map, I placed these two actors, and then I exported it, and I never looked back. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, uh, fun, <laughs> fun Easter egg here. If you do manage to save all five cuckoos, when you leave Gale's house, it's daytime instead of nighttime. Hmm. Curious. It is, it's exactly why you think. <laughs> yeah, they slept after the hard day of work. Yep, took a nice nap. Link nice slept nap. on the couch. Separate, se yeah, separate beds. Gale also slept on the couch. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that, that gate, I, I remember it. I'm gonna go, it to doesn't, go back home. The materials aren't set properly. Materials that, are not. That, but also, I remember when making the map, you guys had told me to like put it on the opposite side or something. Yeah, the map design was not accustomed to how you had set it up within yeah, so, the confines of the Great Plains. Exactly. So if you look at the other side from that gate, like on the opposite side of the map, you'll see this big fence going around and then a little gap in it. That's where that gate was supposed to be. And instead, it's like shoehorned in on the opposite side. <laughs> it works. Where it I works. did not intend for it to be. Although that was like a common issue, me not knowing the layout of the map that they gave uh, me you know like the the forest i remember i had like all the exits swapped and they're like no no that's like supposed to go to the daku tree and it's like oh shit i thought that yeah. was the lost woods exit <laughs> it's it's yeah. rare that a map stayed accurate from design to implementation yeah from ms paint art too <laughs> yeah i wonder why i was getting it wrong what do you mean this cow isn't <laughs> isn't in the game yeah. Gale doesn't even have cows anymore. Uh, the hammer was cut for the anchor. It was, uh, was it cut? I mean, it's just, it's just not here because it's redundant, right? Yeah. Yeah. The, the anchor is the hammer. It does hammer damage. Yeah. I mean, there's no, no nothing else about it. Will there be a, a yes, reason RB? to return to the mountains? Yeah, absolutely. There is a, a lot yes. planned back back up behind the mountains. Um, I'm actually doing one of the reasons right now. This is just like side content though. But we do have uh, we do have a new map already actually created that replaces that uh, little mountain exterior. So coming back you should home should try would be a, really useful. You should try Pegasus Dash across the east. Well, that'd be kind of cool. You could probably line it up so you I kind of like hit the map. overlap area. Skip across the wall. Yeah. Uh, do it on the way back. Where are you going? Come on. What do you mean, way back? I don't know. <laughs> there is no way back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this guy is an NPC me and Kenton actually worked on together. It was so much fun to make. That doesn't work half the time for some reason. I may need to fix that slider. So, this is a lost abrosion, and he's got trapped in here, and he's afraid of the uh, Scardita that was with him. 
Don't let him into your house, though. Red bull creature. Come on. I mean, the lady in uh, Luna Sorry. City was also scared You're of them. You're on your own. <laughs> I love this yeah. last after. <laughs> no one ever says oh, no. Yeah. You've already done so much for me. It's <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> You can do it. You can oh, do you it again. like that. <laughs> Good yeah, luck. Don't worry about me. <laughs> well, all right. Thanks again. <laughs> Poor guy. I think if you do it three times, no, no, you have infinite amount of tries to say yes. But if you Are leave, you sure? so actually, the great thing about this is if you say no and leave, he's gone, just really? forever. He does not go back to Link's house. You instead You'll will find him later. Find in him Subrosia. in Subrosia, yeah. probably. Yeah. And now, he'll probably still allow you to get soup of some sort. Just in a Subrosian area. But it'll I'm probably assuming. be. You'll probably he'll probably make you pay for it or something. Yeah. Like that to be like, I can't believe you actually did that. <laughs> yes, the dialogue is written in English. We are all native English speakers. We It'd be funny if we got a Japanese person to write all the dialogue and then got a translator to translate all the dialogue. Do you eat or drink soup? De depends on the soup, right? Uh, no, I'd say... Oh, shit, actually. No, you're right. We're not having this discussion. <laughs> well, because it'd be like soupu no mama. And then, or, yeah, I guess it's kind of like that. That's just... <laughs> But I don't, that's actually I don't just speak. I drink soup. <laughs> I don't speak Japanese. I can't help you. It's okay. We were close enough. Where are you going? Uh, Igatha. Oh, the warp. That's so smart. Look at this guy. He knows his uh, game <laughs> mechanics. <laughs> yeah, oh, the system that I pushed for and implemented myself. So surprising that I know how to use it. Oh, <laughs> uh, you should go get soup first, actually. Um, I've seen a lot of yeah, questions. Yeah, good idea. Let me get soup. I've seen a lot of questions about the sword upgrades and whether they will have their own sheaths, which is kind of ironic considering that we just I think we were talking that. about that. That conversation yeah. came up not but a couple hours ago, actually. <laughs> uh, no confirmation on that. A big maybe. We don't know. A big depends on how we feel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, doing stuff oh, yeah. with with the player controller, uh, like Link, is just is really painful. So, it's not fun. So, yeah, here's so, a boy. Uh, Kenton, you came up with a whole idea for the soup. Yeah. Corrosion, <laughs> correct? Yeah. <laughs> I just implemented it. All the bad puns and jokes are mine. Soup brosion. <laughs> <laughs> I think well, it's a good pun. The joke is not landing. <laughs> My favorite part that that nobody seems to, to get is if you talk to him again, his title changes. He's yeah. no longer the lost he, Sabrosian. He now calls himself. He's the now your soup Sabrosian. <laughs> he's he's insistent. <laughs> he is your soup Sabrosian. And of course, uh, I made this whole system for walking up and swinging the bottle for getting like potions and that happened to translate into the soup. Uh, but our playtester, Dezimal, does absolutely eviscerated me. There's so many bugs with, with that. Every, every single thing related to the bottles. There's probably at least 50 commits related to me just fixing bottle bugs. That thing is not a very well done. But we got soup, which uh, shows off uh, a really cool system that we wanted. This is the Agatha one, yeah. A really cool system of status effects. Once again, made by Kenton King. I'm you know, if we have some more items. Oh, from the fish. Yeah. What more nice do you camera. get? Oh, a lot of stuff, dude. Uh, I don't <laughs> Great camera. Oh, he gets rocks, of course. Let me put these on real quick. These are one of my favorite and the flippers. Oh, favorite the flippers. animations I've ever made. Yeah, honestly, funniest thing in the world. <laughs> I'm so happy that we decided to go through with this. Oh, I love it. It's funny. I spent so much time looking up videos of people walking in flippers. <laughs> The 
item. It's the, the rock's feather. Everyone knows this one. The item that started it all. Literally. Iconic. You're close. Uh, the Ooh. Zora flippers actually allow you to swim like Zora Link in MM. It's the roughly the same behavior. There's some some uh, differences in how I implemented it versus how MM does it, but functionally the same. Now, uh, for like the boots and the flippers, are they only C items now, or can you like put them with A? You can flip them normally. Oh yeah, why well, I keep putting it on my C buttons? I don't need to do that. Let's I mean, go. not anybody knows that you can equip it to a C bottom. <laughs> it's like just you. Remember to use your. Uh, it, I think there needs to be some kind of a visual reminder, but you're not using your flip. Your C button page. Dude, I forgetting about my own mechanics. Yeah, we talked about having some kind of uh, visual indicator, like so you can see what your other set of C buttons are, so it's not so opaque. It's just really hard on the N64's tiny little screen. Yeah. Yeah, we were very adamant on having like a non-cluttered UI as well. A lot of us really like, you know, more, a more environmental UI or minimalist, yeah. And um, adding more stuff to the screen uh, counteracts that. I think drawing a second set of, like the second set of items behind the first set, like, might be cool. And then have them ship which place. Uh, but welcome to the village, everybody. Dun, 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 you get dun, the dun, 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 dun. Uh, this was made by me, uh, designed by me, and Shredo, uh modeled everything for me. I remember this one taking a long, long time. This to from get done. Co from concept to two months, development finish. Uh, concept started in October because we wanted something spooky. And it got finished probably a month before Demo 2 release. So, what was that? Uh, October to April. This is simultaneously me and Shredo's first ever dungeon we've ever made. First ever one I've ever designed. Surprising, considering yeah, we, how all put together it is. Thank you. you I do remember a lot of you begging know. Shredo. Oh, yeah. The village. <laughs> there was like I a mean, three months where... He just like did it not was... have the motivation to work on it. We were just like, Shredo, hey, how's this... coming, man? <laughs> this is um I don't blame him. This was one of the hardest things I've ever had to work on. I I truly I truly almost gave up. It made me hate making maps and dungeons. Yeah. Like and, entirely. And... I was ready to just never touch Blender again. And we still this. haven't done the uh the mini map for the pause screen map. Yeah, so, and that's going to be especially to hard, for, especially hard for this. That leg's really bad. <laughs> um, so yeah, the biggest part about the uh, yeah, <laughs> Shredo, so many revisions. This it so long. Um, but yeah, the big part, the biggest thing about the village is is the overarching puzzles and poems. Um, it is. Uh, it's a lot, it's kind of convoluted, but I think it makes it super unique. It's not a standard Zelda dungeon. This bell is, is one of the, the sticking points for people. Um, I wonder if we can make it a little more obvious that you can shoot that down. Yeah. That That's a great point. Yeah, a lot of people struggle seeing it, That the rope. And if they uh, try to shoot it, they sometimes shoot the uh, bell itself. I would and make it just hang down a little farther. Yeah. Maybe you put a little fraying in the rope. Yeah, you're so right. I made that. That rope was made by me. So <laughs> you can tell there's a difference in quality. You don't need to be in here, by the way. Yes. I don't have many keys. Nope. <laughs> you don't know how to do the village as well as I do. No, I, say no, I do not. Those, I remember those little yellow bubbles. I hope they have like some kind of funny text if you. Uh, they're more. They say it says they're more afraid of you than you are of them. <laughs> yeah. <or something>. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How many 
many people does the Indigo team have? A lot. Uh, of us that actively worked on it for the most part. Well, maybe like four, maybe four active workers and then like four people who helped a lot. And then, you know, everyone else who contributed. And the redead zone is my, my, my favorite custom uh, change of an actor. Yeah, they're fun. They do scream a little too much. Too much. <laughs> little too much. Little too much. There's also been a lot of bugs with killing them, but I think I've worn most of them out. Kinda, when you get to the room with the three of them, please let them grab you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, the the re the redead zombie getting back up <laughs> is actually just it's falling down reversed. <laughs> I uh, did not make any custom animation. Oh, actually, I did make custom animations: the chasing one and the dancing one. <laughs> oh no, that's not going to be fast enough. This is one of the yeah. the infamous puzzles. Yep, yeah, this is the one nobody likes. However, there is a shortcut, but nobody realizes it. And it is kind of hard to hit, I'll admit. Like I said, when I made this puzzle, I'm kind of a god gamer. So I never messed up. And I didn't realize how tight it was until everyone started playtesting it. And I couldn't... I actually moved the torches to be easier, and it's still hard. Uh-oh. You're fine, you'll make it. As long as you don't... Oh, I might have seen you blocked. You should be fine. I nope, failed. you whiffed. You can start from backwards, though, and still make it. Can you? Yep, if you light the last one, because whenever you relight it, it resets the torch timer. So, yep, you just reset the torch timer. Maybe it's easier backwards. Yeah, people don't realize that yet either. That's kind of a weird implementation detail. That, I mean, that's not the, that's not the point. Oh, yeah, <laughs> You're not supposed course. to do it backwards, but so you can do it backwards. You know, does it need to be timed? Now that I think about it, no. It kind of seems like one of those rooms where you're just supposed to find all the torches. You're right. <laughs> I this this entire puzzle is gonna be reworked. Absolutely. You know, it looks like one of those rooms where you could climb a bookshelf or like push a bookshelf or something, something fun. Yeah, so the issue gonna go with... out. Yeah, it'll go out. It's about to there go out go. soon. The the issue with this entire room actually i well aside from the torch puzzle which is rough admittedly that will be that will be changed um whenever one reads the first book in the room the diary of the girl everyone skips over all of the predated text before the uh before the puzzle hint and they all instantly assume that uh this room is the oh my god <laughs> It's hard, man. Uh, they all assume that this room is the one with the book. Um, but it very specifically says in the uh, in the book that it's in the graveyard. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't blame anyone for having problems with this puzzle. Like, it's very difficult. I think you should I got just it. Uh, change it from a library to like a food pantry or something. So nobody thinks that. Forgot. <laughs> you know, it's because he put so many books and bookshelves in everyone's houses. That is true. There are a lot of bookshelves in this house, but that's kind of the point. Like, there's a lot of, like, reading that goes on here. <laughs> Lots of people love their diaries and their books. Yeah, it's and very their climbable shelf... Yeah, climbable shelf was not originally there. That was added afterwards because Shrita really, really wanted it. Thank you for reminding you know, me. Uh, yeah, I remember it not being climbable and thinking this looks like it should be climbable. Yeah, and then I made it climbable. <laughs> There's a dead guy back there. Yeah, I have no plans to change the poems or like the diaries or anything like that. It's on the player to not instantly forget a text box that they literally just read <laughs> with bright shiny words oh you know i actually really like that idea from chat like make it an order puzzle like you gotta light the torches in a certain order so yeah i could do that that would involve another book yeah 
<laughs> there actually uh, is an open book. There's a spot for an open book. But, alright. Go. <laughs> Be prepared to die, I guess. Let me get get into a, a light a lighter area. Yeah. So, the redead zombies have a funny uh, quirk about them. Oh, come on, fellas. No, they're not going to chase you unless you hit them. Uh, <laughs> where if they see you being grabbed by another redead zombie, they do this weird little dance. <laughs> yeah, they're very happy. Ugh. Ugh. That's so funny. <laughs> I don't like their walk. Why do they walk like that? Because I made them do that, and then I made them go wiggle wiggle. Kenton brought up the idea of making them do the, uh, um, like I have an off chance while they're wiggling their arms to do one of the dances from, uh, Majora's. Oh, yeah. Oh. And I think I think that's so funny, but then I'd have to animate the dance, so... <laughs> animate the dance that's already there. Just steal it. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. What's everyone's favorite thing they made? Uh, oh. I'm most um, proud of the anchor and Zora swimming, because those almost killed me. <laughs> it took I guess so I never specified. Say. It actually took Kenton months. To make like, the literally anchor. almost killed the project. Yeah, Zor Zora swimming was dangerous. The anchor was also very dangerous. Those were large undertakings that I almost wasn't able to, to do. Wasn't it like you got the, what was it, for lay or something implemented like early on? Yeah, I got the change you start simulation. Testing. And now we start testing and you're like, never mind. <laughs> I, I had I had the chain simulation working pretty well, um, but it was all of the like the player code that came on top of it. Like you don't think about it, but there are so many more anim. Like, I had to do about 20 different animations for Link just carrying this thing around and all the different states he can be in with it. And there's like a dumb little idle animation. If you hold it for too long, his arms get heavy and he'll set it down on the ground. <laughs> really? Hold on. I, I've yeah, never yeah, seen yeah. that in my life. Really? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's the little things, dude. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Kenton deserves all the praise for the anchor and Zora flippers, which almost see no use in the demo. Yeah, oh, but they'll be big plans all the time. For the oh, yeah. Though. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, at least Hisuya, what was your favorite thing to work um, on? I really love my. Uh, I mean, the the overarching puzzle of this entire dungeon is absolutely what I love doing the most. Like the making the statues that are pushable and turnable, the way that there's like the paintings that they have to go in front of, and the fountain that moves because of it, the hints, like all of that. I, that was like a month of my life just programming all these little actors. Yeah, that is like this the thing is kind of a well. work of love. Yes, it was it, months of my life were put into this village. I I absolutely adore it, even if it's, it's a, got a lot of problems. I I think some people recognize those, but it's still like a fan favorite a lot. I think I mean it's most definitely most commonly the most seen. unique dungeon. Yeah, uh, the it's definitely has the majority of people saying like Igatha was their favorite dungeon. Yeah, I. I definitely appreciate the love of people, like, the moment they walk in, and they're like, what? Oh, is this a dungeon? And then, like, f you know, they start going through the houses, and they're like, oh, this is this is a dungeon. That, yeah. that moment always feels so good. Did like, we fix yes, the bug with this fountain? Uh, maybe? Maybe you, not you, in this. You used to be able to, using the Pegasus boots... But you oh could, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah! I changed it to a Dynapoly. It okay. used to be a cylinder. <laughs> uh -oh. Used to be able to like clip underneath there with Pegasus boots and skip ninety percent of the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, this dungeon is actually just so good. <laughs> I so mean, it's like your favorite thing that you worked on. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm sense. saying out of all of it, the rotatable statues. Um. My, my little statues that Shredo modeled up for me in like a couple of hours. Oh, like, yeah, those are neat. I remember right. you posting work in progress stuff about them all the time. Yes, making them actually rotate was 
so hard because I'm really bad at math and making them actually like rotate properly and in the right direction in the right amount was a lot of hard work. I remember something about the control scheme being discussed. Like, how do you get yeah. them to rotate the way you want? Yeah, that's still something I think could be worked on because there's no there's no visualization that most people discover they rotate, rotate by them. accident yeah. an accident they push yeah. it against a wall and when they're letting go it it, uh, it would nice uh they wrote it against a wall and then when they're letting go it moves and then they think that you have to push it against a wall to rotate <laughs> Uh, you, you rotated by like doing left or right. Yeah, right? just left and right. That's literally that's, it. Yeah. That's what I thought. Uh, I take it back. The most, the thing I loved the most was these two skeletons that I added here. <laughs> you put they're those holding, in. They're oh, holding that's beautiful. Hands, yeah, it's very sweet. They are the the secret lovers that died down here. Did that say we passed on content? Content. It's the same word, dude. <laughs> but it says passed on. Oh, passed on content. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah, it's the same word. <laughs> Spelled the same. But yeah. The, I thought they were the... saying they passed on some content. Like, they didn't want it. <laughs> yeah, they left their stream. Or they left us a YouTube series. Let's <laughs> uh, Oh, the shovel's fun. I like how it's not something you have to actively equip yeah that it's... also shocks a lot of people they're like where is it <laughs> i like the little flavor text too who yeah, could be talking to about it <laughs> technically shovel, was also fun. shovel led to i think uh, an another one of the mini games i really like i think ruby they rush were is youtubers ruby rush is so good they're uh in terms of like the overarching story the flavor text for the shovel actually like <laughs> Is like non-canon. <laughs> it goes against the actual story, but it's it's alright because I love. It. Yeah, I'll probably get it needs changed. to be in there. Nah, it needs to stay. So yeah, the way the shovel works is now once you have it, all of these uh, dig spots throughout the world you can now dig up. Oh my god, I didn't know that happened. So yeah, uh, one thing they so go we through had this conversation. Line. That's OP. So one of the things that we had a lot of uh, a lot of back and forth on for the village was how do we just stop the person from who knows like the spot to just go to the spot instantly? Um, and there was a lot of deliberation. Uh, things like having the entire dungeon be completely random from the moment you step in was one of them. Ended up not doing that. That would have been a lot. Yeah. It would have been very like all of the puzzles were gonna like say different things uh, when you walked up oh, to like them based on the different RNG. houses. Like, you know, uh, like, like the dig spot was gonna be different every time, uh, and things like that. I'm not sure what else would truly be all that random. Uh, but we ended up just being, you know what? Screw it. If the player knows where to go, just let them go, right? Or as some people like to do, <laughs> brute force every dig spot. <laughs> I thought by random you were gonna say like that the houses would have different content in them. Oh no! So no, like, no, no, no. you know, you, you'd have to get a different for my house. First dungeon. Yeah, it'd be crazy. Like instead of a library house, you'd have to go to like some other house for some puzzle. That'd be. That'd be oh, yeah. this. Oh, so this, this is the, the wolf reconstructed wolf host made by Nitro Car Wash. It's got one oh. hell of a head. Jesus. Well, what the hell did they do, to this guy? Um, so this guy was made by Nitro for the village in particular. He wasn't originally going to look like this, and he has been nerfed about 90 times. <laughs> he was originally extremely, extremely hard. Uh, he got easier, and he was too easy, and then we bumped him up again. Yeah. And Kenton is using the uh, OP strat. That armor lock just AoE is so good. People sleep on it, but it's strong. Oh, you're not gonna get like, anything. <laughs> yeah. See uh, the bombs? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know what he's weak to. He might be weak to hammer, or he's just normally damageable by everything. Nice. This dungeon, okay, I hear a, a big collaboration between Hisui and I. We worked on this thing 
so much. It's oh, still yeah. a buggy mess too. <laughs> it's actually my model. It is right. enough. <laughs> it's cool though. Thank you. My favorite part is the animation. The animation. <laughs> the icon looks great. Of course, CDI yeah, made, CDI the, icon. made the icon. <laughs> he updated well, the icon for us. It used to just be a black blob. It was terrible originally, I'll be real. Well, Kenton I, just said take a screenshot of it. I couldn't tell what it was for the longest time. Yeah, so Kenton made like all the animations and a lot of the logic for some of it, and then I worked on... Like, I mostly did the player side of it, and all logic, of the yeah. item itself you did. Yeah. But it, 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 it we were originally a little, a little swing when you're running with it, like it. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I was originally gonna be Verlay as well, but it actually freaks out. <laughs> yeah, the simulation was. Not so now it just well. it just it just rolls back, and if you actually backwalk with it, it still goes backwards. <laughs> yeah, these actually these go were all the correct direction. Yeah, not going the right direction, but that's alright. <laughs> but the running out with it with like his hand forward, that's awesome. Oh, you can use there's also, crouching. there's also, yeah, you can <laughs> crouch swing the lantern if uh, you ever need to. <laughs> Which helps with uh, killing the um, zombies. It's a little weird when you have the shield, though. But... Yeah, this is, uh, this is magic, the magic lantern. So he's using, he's like, you know, summoning magic to illuminate it is the idea. So I specifically put in flavor text in um, the book in the like study underneath the bell tower that says Irene created a lantern that can uh, harness magic and create flame, or you know, and that's that was a reference to the fact that Link formulates magic in his hand, and then there's like this uh, vessel that can hold that magical flame and then use it. So that was kind of the point of that. Shout out Irene. Also, Kenton save. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the room. It does not eliminate. There were plans for it. I'm not sure if we're ever gonna bring it back. Mm, no, the way that the game handles that is number one, kind of tricky, and number two, it doesn't usually look very good unless you have a lot of vertices in your map. You need a lot so, of extra those are, geometry. For yeah, so you'll. And they're expensive, you'll so. You'll actually notice a lot of the vil oh nice. <laughs> nice. Ignore the wall hole in the wall. That's fixed later. And uh that's like all <laughs> this. It's just is like fixed. a missing triangle here. <laughs> yeah. I had to, That's I, amazing. Not, not How best. did we miss that? Uh, <laughs> it, looks it happened so in one of the pa it happened between the most recent patch and the patch before it. Because I was trying to fix the crack. <laughs> I know, so yeah, I thought it was a detail, like a little it's crack a in the wall. So the intended oh. way you to actually get across notice. here is to shimmy. Yeah. But you can take this stash across it. Yeah, I've brought really I've brought tools. Yeah, you can pick this stash across it. It's funny. Yeah, nice, right? That's sick. Uh, These boxes were also part of a puzzle at some point, weren't yes, they? Yes, this puzzle was going to be completely different, but uh, we realized that there's a lot of backtracking in this dungeon if you don't know exactly what you're doing, which is intended. Um, but this puzzle involved you bringing one of those boxes down into the room beneath here and putting it down there. Uh, but then every time you'd go, you'd have to redo the puzzle every single time. And, you know, maybe not the best. Was there also, there wasn't a door there. Dude, these guys originally. Yeah, like, like this whole, OP. everything. That's crazy. Oh, uh, that's not as good as I thought it was. Yeah, CDI, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the stuff in this bottom part has been changed due to the fact that I don't know what causes the crash. <laughs> like, everything has been changed. But you'll notice in a lot of places around the village that, um, they look, like, very flat. Like, in this room, you can see there's, like, shading on the walls. That's vertex painting. A lot of the village doesn't have that because we were expecting to use the lighting as a oh, yeah. element. Um, but we had to take it out, so we don't have vertex painting on half of the houses. <laughs> so uh, these are my statues. Ah, uh, I like the statues. And had to add that in. <laughs> oh, wow. Kenton forced me to add that in. <laughs> I was like, if you don't make that thing shootable for a rupee, I'm going to throw a fit. And I did throw a fit, and now it's shootable you by a rupee. And I, I added one.
So yeah, this was the this was my introductory puzzle. It has not changed since the moment I conceived conceived it. Push the statue, make it lock in place to look like the other one. A lot of people get stuck on this for some reason. There's even decals on the ground that show where to push it. <laughs> yeah, these little scratches. I think that's a nice touch. Yeah. And this is the door. We're good. <laughs> and oh, you got a flavor text. Man. You got a text. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> ew. Do they I always explode like that? Uh, maybe. Probably. What in the world? This, this is the detail text that I wrote. I don't want to look at it anymore. This was uh, a begrudging request. I absolutely did not want to put a Nejiro in my dungeon. <laughs> I fought tooth and nail. I fought tooth and nail, but then everyone ended up just being like, just add the Nejiro. We need it in one. It's either here or in the road. And I was like, I don't yeah. want it in the road either. At least they don't have teeth. Yeah, that's true. Yo, could that has to on fire. I didn't even know that could happen. Yep, uh, try hard. Uh, I know about that bug. Uh, the, the, the lantern is very buggy. It is not a very well flushed out item based on all the things that it can do. Honestly, just shut up, Dorito. This dungeon would be nothing without him. I'm not a modeler. No one else wanted to model this one. Uh, Australia was originally going to help me, and is this the chaser? Uh, yeah. Nope. The one at the bottom. The one at the bottom is. That's, <laughs> that's the one at the bottom is the Kenton M type. We set him off so we can. Uh, oh yeah, he does the. the explosion that you don't like. That's Kenton M right there. What I've been reduced to. Yep. I, I haven't seen anybody kill all the enemies in this room. It does spawn a chest I somewhere for some I see it all these. the time. I'm surprised it didn't do the cutscene. What? It didn't show you where the box spawned. <laughs> Classic. I've never Here's seen that one before. These ones look great. Mm. Yeah, I love the orange ruby. Rupees look incredible, CDI. <laughs> They're so good. All except, uh, what is it? We're having trouble with the red one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Looking... Yeah, differentiating red and orange was a challenge. All right, here we go. Crash. Oh, we're good. It's actually funny to see a lot of people come down into this room long before they get the lantern. And a lot of them will think, oh, I must need a fire item. Actually, shout out to this, uh, <laughs> to this floor master. <laughs> That's purposely placed to do that. <laughs> I think it's so funny. Uh, but a lot of people don't realize that that torch in the main part doesn't actually reach that. Don't do it! They're having dinner! Dude, I, I have been you. stunlocked by these two. I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> Environmental storytelling, dude. They were eating their dinner. Actually, I want to... Want to reload the room and... No, I just want to take a moment to appreciate this misplaced door. <laughs> oh, no, they're back! <laughs> it looks fine, dude. Oh yeah, the candleheads. Slightly off, slightly off. Candleheads were made by Agakur. Great little enemies. Oh, I, I don't have them. any ice magic. The uh, the effect yeah. when you freeze them is is the best one. Did he model them too? Shredo uh, modeled them. I animated Shredo them, modeled. and Agakur did all the code. Yep. They're, They're a little buggy that. with the collision in this room, but oh, he's dead. Sometimes like they can, they... like, get stuck on the stairs or in the wall like that. I got baited. <laughs> I still like them. You actually got hit. Yeah, I love them. They're so funny. Their attack animation is so fun. It's so cute. And they fit this room perfectly. <laughs> right? It's so funny. Like, if you actually get hit by that, like, how? <laughs> well, actually, taking out the lantern takes a little bit, so it's pretty easy to get hit. Yeah. Am I missing a key? Uh, yes, you are. 
However, Mr. Kentonem, I would definitely get the warp. How do I do this dungeon? I will, <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Uh, so get the warp. This has changed in a future version. Uh, I make this a lot more lenient on the player. Uh, but if you go into the room here with this guy, you can kill him and get his, uh, this is the, this is the Viscount, by the way, everybody. Say hi. Viscount. Whatever. Viscount. No. Viscount. I like that way. <laughs> Viscount, Viscount. Same difference to me. Uh, and then you'll notice that there's a bookshelf in here that looks eerily similar to another bookshelf in the village. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna fix that up later. It's not gonna look like the normal one. Discount, discount, yeah. <laughs> um, but if you stab this one, you get a shortcut back to the main part. I would not have guessed that. Uh, he says it if you if you um, read the book in the study. He actually tells you about it. There's even a little uh, trap door. Hatch. There's, a tra there's a trap door, and in a future version, you can actually use the trap door to go back through after you unlock it the first time, because some people skip going into the boss room for the warp, and I just feel awful when that happens. Uh, house behind you, by the way. Oh yeah, that one, one with the archway. That's the one I skipped. Not this one. I think some of the paintings are from Castlevania, Castlevania 64. 64. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're probably real paintings, but they downscaled too. Oh yeah, probably. Wrong one again. The one with the with the awning. Your the the delay is not not working. I'll find it eventually. <laughs> it's the one with the awning in between the two houses. You just walked. Out. The Here only house you haven't gone in. Here we go. Yeah, that one. Dungeon maps someday. Yeah, the, the, uh, this dungeon falls hard into the needs of dungeon map uh, category. Now, a dungeon map won't tell you where you stand. That does. Yeah, yeah but what? we could make them show, like, locked doors and stuff. Oh, no, you're right. It doesn't actually show. Why is not it? If you don't have the map yet, it would CDI. Uh, you could do something that, like, I don't know, have wood planks in front of the doors. This guy's overpowered. Down. Is he bugged? Why is he still green? That was unfair. I don't know. Did we break these somehow? No, 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 no. They're fine. I think you just got unlucky. This is a very lame puzzle, but I couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> Like, why is this eye switch frozen? Maybe I should have had it behind a web, actually. No, but I, I like that Z target through the wall. Yeah. Get him! You got this, buddy. I, use, the, use the Pegasus. Use the use the feather for what it's for. Yeah, there we go. Using using my tech for the backflip side hop. Okay, now you can just use the boss warp to go back. And there's the door that I fixed. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I know you fixed it. Yeah. I just I had to. Just had to show off my failures. I love complaining about doors. Yeah, my doors are really bad here. Like, self-admittedly, they're really bad. Actually using a boss warp. Yes, sir. Uh, Yurith, we're actually starting work now on the dungeon where you get the rocks feather we're working on the mini boss and the boss and uh the boss will require rocks feather to defeat it it's gonna be really fun we are i didn't know we were <laughs> yeah, that's, what that. me and have been, <laughs> that's what me and kenton have been doing oh that's what that's for okay this is my this is my favorite room in the entire dungeon like i spent a lot of time making like the puzzle workout and then you can like look out into the village like you actually look out like this entire area is actually underneath the actual village and then the village out there is just like very specific pieces of the stuff out there <laughs> glory to the darkness 
helpful tale remembers all your passages. Yep, absolutely needed this. A lot of playtesters did not like the fact they had to memorize the poems. Uh, if you really come, if you come here before you get all the secrets, he's like uh, gives you some hints on where you might need to go yeah. next as well. Yeah, no one ever sees the first one. Uh, really, because they usually end up finding the underside first. <clears throat> but if for some reason you don't read the book uh, next to the uh, couple underneath the house, he actually does say, you know, go check out that house in the graveyard they talked about. And then if you don't get the one in the bell tower, he's like, you should get the one. Maybe that bell tower is like something's going on in there. So he's very, uh, very helpful. This didn't originally have it either. And it was uh, a lot worse for wear. Surprisingly, the person who makes it memorizes it a lot easier than anyone else. <laughs> yeah. How many dungeons do you have planned for this ROM hack? We're not sure yet. We're, we're just going to kind of make yeah. as many as we, uh, as we're, you know, rather than having a set number, we're going to make the ones that we have really cool ideas for. And when yeah. we run out of cool ideas, we'll, we'll stop. Yeah, I, I, we fell into a really bad habit of just like, need to make this, need to make this, need to make this, and I think that's a bad way to kind of think about it. Also, Kenton, please look at the desk a little closer. It's finally time. All right. You didn't see it before, did you? Mm. You made it in, baby. You know what? I'll, I'll, I will accept this. He snuck that by even me. I, I didn't catch it until I had it in game, and I was like, "All right, you actually got me. <laughs> I'll leave it in." This is, I didn't know about it. This is a, an inside joke on the dev team of a, a terrible enemy design. That... Oh, that's one of the that's one of the that's one of the ideas that came up that never got used. Yeah. There oh, you that go. is that is cut. Two, yeah. two penguin. Two penguin. Uh, yep, you have to use was... the. Uh, How did that uh, come escape? up anyway? It was well, we were playing um, one of those uh, drawing games. I can't remember what the name right. yeah. was. Gardic phone. Gardic phone. Yeah. And somebody said two penguin. Somebody drew a penguin, and then somebody said two penguin. <laughs> and then, the and next then one somebody was a... drew the uh, penguin shaped like the number two. <laughs> so the the enemy that was being pushed for very aggressively by some people was and then, a penguin in the shape of a two. And well, I, it's even funnier because Shredo made the penguin model. The phone. Shredo made the model, and then they, they tried to get it in the game. I think you see it trying to get it in the game where he age occur. Are you guys sure dead? Yeah, yeah. He, he tried to get it. And it broke so horribly. <laughs> it was a in up. every way, yeah. <laughs> it looked terrible. It was so it was, funny. It was like crooked cartridge. It was like tilted across the entire map. Yeah, that was yeah. Uh, one of only two vetoes I've had to give of things that I just was a hard no. It was absolutely terrible. It was literally just a big penguin shaped like the number two. It's exactly like oh, the image no. on the desk. It was huge. It took up like half the screen. It was, it was hilarious. <laughs> Very much, very much uh, a unnecessary thing to not put in, but I'm 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 happy to let Shredo have that one. It was 100% a hundred percent a Shredo idea. <laughs> uh, actually, that brings it that brings it up. Uh, the thing I wanted to talk about that was actually cut uh, because of a technical limit limitation in this village is uh, the secret to getting back from. The manor instead of going through like that secret tunnel he has or the warp pad or any of that was um exploding the debris in front of the door that he blockades and then the gate in front of the um manor would open and you'd be able to walk around out there hmm. uh it just mm -hmm. absolutely cannot do that though a uh, normal quick spin doesn't work by the way yeah, a charge one does though um yeah, it was, it's just physically impossible. Like, the try limit for the village is already at, like, it's absolute it, Yeah, peak. it's really high. <laughs> at, like, literally adding any more, and the whole thing will just start chugging like a, like a beast. So, I cannot do that, no matter how badly me and Shredo want it. Also, this is my favorite room. This room is awesome. Yeah, I, I didn't even look at the little, uh, creations. 
Yeah, so I don't know what this overarching one is story to be. of the overarching story of the village is there's some freaky stuff going on down here. Maybe some some vile activity, and maybe they're doing some experiments. And all of these guys have like little sounds coming out of them, which I no. which I just love. Is that vile activity as in V I A L or V I L E? Or both. V I L E and the other one as well. <laughs> yeah. E Bail activity. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of questions that we like stopped halfway through answering. Oh, yeah. Sorry. If you guys have any questions, please, <laughs> please ask. Is the order they are in now the order they will be set? Uh, two Penguin is derailing our. <laughs> even now. Yeah, we thought about Two Penguin too hard. <laughs> Popple, if you can keep what that was for. <laughs> Stop. Quit making me think about him. I'm glad it's out in the world now for people. Yeah, to yeah. I'm so glad. I'm another, so glad, another guys. major thing. I'm so major happy about it. The village. <laughs> it's never happening. Don't worry. Another major thing for the village was the uh, painting with the <laughs> with the torch in it. I was getting begged to add a painting with a torch in it that you would hit with the lantern that would burn it. And you know, I love the idea. It's a great idea. But that was like after I'd finished the village already. I just couldn't do it. I just it's didn't just... have the mental strength to get through it. Why does this cutscene have the HUD over it? Great question. I used the rock's feather while I was falling, and I think it triggered the weird bug. Oh. Other directions on the D-pad? I feel like we had a conversation. Yeah, we've talked about it. Them. I don't know if we settled on for, uh, Being used for either, like, booty clips or something. Oh, uh, Dunker? Yeah, for the most part, like, these starting three, starting three, you do Decker Tree first, and then you get the ship in any order, but, yeah, that's gonna stay the same. You are crazy for doing that. We're not sure about the order for anything else, though. I don't know how much we have planned. I think we're kind of set on the fourth one. I might die. Be, drink be the decided. Soup. Get that soup. Drink the soup. So yeah, this is status effects. Something we really want to be running and drinking. Oh yeah, this boss. Is it a placeholder boss? Yes or no? Oh, that was so lucky. I yes. No. <laughs> no S. <laughs> it feels like it might depend on whether or not we had saw him make another box. How I'm feeling. <laughs> I have ideas, even if it's not a complete and custom I have ideas to make this a better boss fight in general. But that's not the Maybe we'll return to it. I do think I do think Bongo thing. has a lot of uh what's the word I'm looking for? Like Potential. He has a lot of potential to be a really cool boss. And the first thing to make him a cooler boss is to get rid of the bomb. Yeah. No offense, Mongo, but I hate the bomb. <laughs> we kept it, but it no longer bounces you. Yeah, we got rid of the <laughs> bounce. So it's really just a platform. <laughs> yeah, it's literally just a platform. And that's all three dungeons. You have completed the game. Congratulations, Kenton. Yay! I've got too many games. Am I missing? I think I'm. I think I'm. Oh, right you're missing around. a ton of content, dude. Yeah, there's a lot. No, I wouldn't say it. You ton. haven't done. You haven't done the mini games, the two best mini games. Well, I, now that I'm back out here, I can. Uh, there's also a very specific. There's a couple quests you haven't done. <laughs> yes, I got the good. One. Which one are you gonna get? Nice. <laughs> oh, my favorite. No more about goo? Yes? Uh, yeah! <laughs> so a lot of this text is a mix between my original writing and then CDI spamming me with uh, AI-generated content. Well, I think I wrote a prompt that was like, uh, pretend you're an electric sentient slime creature who is obsessed with the knowledge about goo 
and that secrets <laughs> the universe that it holds. Now write 20 pa uh, paragraphs of text that yeah. you would say, <laughs> and then I just cherry picked and I was like, here you go. Put these yeah. in the game, please. So a lot of it is is a mix between myself and that, and it, it's hilarious. There's yeah, some, honestly, there's, so there's like twenty dialogue stuff. lines you can get. Yeah. So there's two different types of cubemen you can get. There's the crazy looking one we just saw, and then there's my favorite one, which is the stoic kind. And each oh. of them, if you just talk to them normally, have uh, ten different things they can say. I told you the group would be here. <laughs> uh. They have ten different things they can say each, and they just kind of cycle through them. There was a large, large uh, oversight. It looks disgusting. There's a large oversight in the initial release of this. Yeah, so I, I remember the, the, uh, a little text related. A little text that I accidentally left in the game. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. We got our stoic nuke. Oh, nice. I love the look of him. His face is stolen off the original... Yeah, the Keep little drawing I made. <laughs> yeah, the pleasure, all the pleasure in life, in many forms, and they just they just cycle through it essentially. And this is very controversial as well. <laughs> this whole sequence, drink the goo. I personally am in love with this sequence. I think everything about it is perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. And Kenton put a lot of effort into it, okay? I so. did. Animating Orange Justice was not something I thought I'd ever do. I really thought you just ripped like a mocap. You did it by hand. No, Kenton, no dude, I did this I did this frame by frame. <laughs> I said, really I said, Kenton, I absolutely need Orange Justice to happen. <laughs> and he actually did it. What a legend. I think the funny thing is people don't even know what they just did. They don't know what yeah. the goo does. Yeah, thank you, Lloyd. That was the accidental... You can go get more goo. Oh, oh no. my god. <laughs> Why would you kill him? He was sentient. <laughs> this man. Uh, yeah, you can go get more goo. Get in some, some infinite magic for the race. <laughs> I don't need infinite magic. Uh, yeah, so I, yes. Lloyd, that is, the, that is the line I left in on accident. <laughs> it has been uh, changed to something a little more appropriate. Yes, yes, I changed it to something more in line with the other things that the Cuban were saying. Um, why is the quest so strange? Um, well, Cuban are weird, right? We already knew that from the other games, and I had the. And Shudo really wanted to make a really f freaky <laughs> looking Cuteman, but I wanted a really nice looking Cuteman. Oh, you can talk about this, actually. This is uh, Ajaker's creation, the Quake Medallion. He, he yeah. really loves, I don't know if he's in, in chat, but he really loves the uh, Link to the Past. So this is, let me put on, put on regular boots. I mean, you can just do the quick spin as well. I know, but it's dramatic when you get the full yeah, it is. third level. There's so a good. third spin attack level, really? Yeah, to do. Yeah, you can if you hit A at the end of your quick spin, you can do one. Wow. No, the the Cukeman just say weird stuff about slime. <laughs> And goo and no, electricity. Uh, what what came first? Was it the weirdness because of the face on the model? Yes. Or was it as soon as the as soon as the crazed Cukeman was made, my initial thought was these guys have to be cults. They have to be a cult. <laughs> oh, this map's really this is cool. Yeah. The R R button. <laughs> that this we, developer we do that a couple in a couple places. Like have that redundant button icon with the text. Yeah, so it's an issue with one, the, me not knowing the tech system very well, and two, the amount of dialogue that we kind of have. Yeah, hard to come through it. It's hard to uh, make them line up the way you want them to, and that mostly comes down to the fact that there's a lot of winding paths in all the dialogue. Like, there's multiple things people can say at different points, and they sometimes trail off, uh, like, other text messages text boxes um, so to get around that I just make the text box stop and you just start a new one 
Am I gonna Save fail? Me a lot of effort. Are you? Yeah. I, you might. Why did, did you? Shortcut? 35 on the dot. <laughs> oh, thank God. Goo does give temporary infinite magic. It regens, yeah. Goo is like a magic thing and soup is like a health thing, yep. right? Yep. Okay. That's exactly what it is. This, uh... This map was made by CDI. I did the mini game. I want to have a, a, an advanced course, um, but I couldn't be motivated enough to implement it in time for the demo. Uh, but I have some ideas to do. You do the beginner, which is just like, okay, explore the track, get a feel for it, and then the advanced course be like three laps, and there'll be you know moving obstacles and stuff like that. It'd be more fun. You should talk to him without the Pegasus boots on. Unique dialogue there. Oh yeah, he has some. <laughs> Come back when you've taped some wings to your boots. <laughs> your boots, yeah. All the fastest people got wings on their boots. <laughs> so I, that was my best way to say there's the Pegasus boots in this <laughs> in this hack without saying there's Pegasus boots in this hack. It's pretty funny. There's one thing in that map that I I, I made and I was like, oh, that's really pretty, and then I realized nobody's gonna see it. Because they're running. The waterfall really in the background? Yeah, there's like a, a waterfalls in the background, like a little lake. But you'll never see it. Because you're never going to look for it. You're racing. And this is the item that nearly killed Indigo? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it has just a. You have a faster regular swimming speed. You do this flutter kick with it, and then you can do the Zora dash as well. And of course, of course, the walk. Um, because underneath the water, they are magic flippers. Above the water, they are normal flippers. You'll see when... Actually, do you want to do it, Kenton? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let, me, let me show them. This was our this was our solution for no Sorry, iron boots. <laughs> yeah. So you can push B to dive, and you see they turn into really short little stubby flippers and, like, walk around on the floor. <laughs> And I, think it's actually size? I think it's a legit legitimately kind of clever solution. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know they did that. <laughs> yeah, that's how you do the iron boots stuff. Because we do don't do have that? like you push B how? just like uh with Yeah. No, I mean like how did you do the model? Shrinking. Oh, it's you just a separate separate model. Uh that's funny. Yeah, I just swap it out. It's sad that the the race course or whatever it was gonna be for this. Yeah, I'll I'll, we'll, I'll need to do that for Hundo. I'll boom, boom through that. But it's like not grand it's, ambitions <laughs> that uh toward, towards the end when we were like getting ready, we're like the month leading up to this. There's still so many things I wanted to do, but couldn't. Yeah, I remember even the map. in the end we went oh, so this hard. Is, this is great. I love this area. Yeah. I remember the map for that little uh like swimming tunnel with the. The flippers. The maze? Originally, it looked better. Oh. It looked better in Blender. And then we put it in the game and it looked terrible. Yeah. And I had to go, like, adjust it. Now it doesn't look as good. Nice. Yeah. Oh, nice. That might, uh, that whole thing might need some form of reworking to be more interesting. Yeah. Because I know our, our concept for it in general is not, you know. Insane. Uh, yeah, fun, I do. Sorry, fun fact about this 2D section. People don't. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It's not explained anywhere, but if you hold Z while you're drawing or something, then you can aim up and down as well. So we'll probably we'll probably have some more 2D sections later. Um, hopefully, with better explanation of how the mechanics work. Yeah, this whole the map was made by Australia, and then like the tech was made by you, like the camera. Well, hold on. If you, if you just pull out the bow and try to use it with that, see what happens. You did straight, I think, right? You can walk with it, yeah. But you can't aim it up and down? You No, because it, instead of... So if you want to aim up and down, you hold Z and then you stay You have to Z. It might be worth just changing it to be like Z form in 2D maps like this the whole time. Because I don't think walking with it really does much. Yet. It might in the future. We don't know. I, yeah. I yes, suppose. Yes. Come on, man. They're jumping the gun. You, there, there is a platform down there. There's nothing on it. You can land on it, though. It's kind of funny. Yeah, it looks like a Mario platform. Like, you'd be down there and hop up through the floor to the top. Yo, the, the lantern tech? Yeah, that's really smart. Land oh, on the platform. Aww. 
I think they look alright, if I remember correctly. Punk. What? Nice. This whole scar effect too is really cool. When you get close to the edge of the scar, it's like... Oh, how the weather stays uh, set now. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you gotta go to Sabrosia, bro. I think it's this oh, yeah. one has the heart piece. No? Did I get rid of this one, actually? Maybe I no, got No, it's, it's on the other one. It's the right. That one. There it is. Yeah, Sabrosia like is the like, area. This place is awesome. I the song in Sabrosia is a banger too. I love it. Yeah, that's Shredo actually. Shredo helped uh, get that in here. And I can't believe this got by everybody. I can't believe you guys let me put this in. Oh, we knew. Your Laysai. <laughs> My Laysai. Can I get a Laysai in the chat, please? No, don't do that. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's so funny. Yeah, Sabrosia is a big, uh, is gonna be big. Yeah, we want to do a lot. A lot of the, the overworld places and the dungeons especially are all very dark oh and depressing God. areas. So we want Sabrosia to be like this burst of like happiness and joy that's kind of safe from all the nightmares that's gargling <laughs> around on the overworld. I didn't notice the giant Sabrosia in the background. In the background that fades in and out. No, I also noticed he was not uh, headbanging. So I'm kind of confused there. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about him. Kenton, it's crazy. You wouldn't have to worry about running out of magic if you had just gotten the... Uh... I know. I should have I should have got the goo. Is that big Sabrosia in like, the, the chunky fat one that we made? Or is it... No, no, no. no. That's just, a, uh, just, that's just a scaled one. Oh, <laughs> you should... We should put in the big one. And then do you have uh, custom emotes on Twitch? Or not Twitch, or YouTube? I don't think so. Because we absolutely need to put sub wow. <laughs> the, or sub wow. The head banging Sabrosia. Yeah. I love that one. Oh, uh, Sabrosia dancing minigame. Awful cake. I actually already have that animated for the Sabrosians. <laughs> they, do, they do the little dances from the Oracle games. You do? Yeah. Yeah, it's not. Wow. The game itself isn't implemented, but the animations are. There's actually a devlog where you can see them dancing, I believe. But it's a good jump. Is. I remember it's making this little area. Yeah, y'all y'all told me it was gonna be like something important. <laughs> and it was not. Well, like have like light shining out of it and make it look really cool. Well, I, I seem to recall there, it, there was no light shining out of it, so I just stuck a heart piece down. <laughs> <laughs> it's underwater, yeah, so, yeah, so something way cooler would have happened if you had put light shining. Yeah, way, way but better. I it, think I tried, is, but yeah. it wouldn't work if it's underwater because either it looks the transparency out of place, yeah. yeah, under the water or out of the water. It looks weird. Uh, Styler, if that's how you say your name. These a lot of the maps were made by Frito CDI or Australia Lava, and this one is specifically CDI. Yeah, I think I'm. Yeah. Where's the cave? You. Yeah, there, there. I want to do a lot more with the uh, the underwater stuff. Um, this this bay will get built out. And we'll have a, a whole ocean biome that we've got planned. I remember this was another little MS Paint map. Not not yeah. the tunnels, but the harbor. Uh oh, <laughs> overrun text. Forgot a not yeah yeah yeah. Here. I think I have that fixed actually. <laughs> Not that I need to fix it. I don't have a Zora tunic. Whatever. Are you really gonna try to make it to the end? Yeah. You're crazy like that? All right. Good luck. Can you remember the path? No. Probably not. Ooh, Papa, that's I, crazy. I do remember. Are you trying to flex on me now? <laughs> there should be indicators to show you the right path. Yeah, kind of. this this whole this whole section, I want to be kind of a race mini game as well with bloopers. Yeah, there's something, there's just something lacking. I mean, it's not, you know, oh, there's nothing to do. <laughs> They're just tunnels. Yeah. yeah, like the 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 gameplay loop of the mini game itself isn't very fleshed out yet. 
it really did look so much better too before <laughs> we had to change the aesthetic it had like moss that would like very very between the walls and stuff it wasn't all just one color we need to just put the beavers in like Thero says yeah I don't even oh, think yeah. does this have collision turned off on the the trees no it's, these this this map <laughs> is very unfinished. yeah I think I got turned around I... I don't know about you guys, but I kind of hate the beavers. Uh, I don't know really? if I, I, I got turned around. I needed to go left at that fork. Oh, no, you made it. You made it. Yeah, no. you're there. That was the entrance, wasn't it? No, no was that was the exit. The exit. That was no, the it wasn't. Exit. Are you kidding me? It was. Yes, it was. Yeah, because it, it had the sign. Oh, Clip that, it chat. That hurts. It's all right. Well, you were there. That's all that matters. Yeah, you got there. There's a sign that's like, it congratulates you for wasting your time. It's like, I tried to warn you not yeah. to explore the tunnels. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we were to add anything to be like something in, you know, there, I'd prefer it be something original and not the weird beavers. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it. We'll have um, heals this time. Big heals. This poison is another uh, one of the status effects you can get yes. from the frogs. Very cool. What? Um, time for Shut Dusty up, Dave, I think. Dusty Dave. Oh, uh, I love that. No story spoilers. You guys thought about making any characters from OT and then return other than Tail? No. Nope. Yeah, this is other than Tail. Yeah, we have one. Oh yeah, Tail. Link. Tail. Link. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you got yeah, I guess two. We have... Yeah. For, yeah, whole, for, pretty much all of MM is here, baby, basically. For reasons that will be unveiled with the story, there are yeah. no no returning characters. And if a model looks familiar, no, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> I'm going to wait for things. day. It's something different during the daytime. It just looks nicer. <laughs> it's brighter. Hmm. Oh, did we ever fix that bug? Best waifu is obviously yeah, Gale. Yeah, I, well, that was like there was like a light that got, yeah, got added it was in very the middle. Weird. <laughs> it was really strange. From the fast Only good old oddity. Uh... uh, you could go to. Well, actually, time wouldn't pass while you're there. It'll be it'll be day soon enough. I do have the shovel. Yeah, I'll just wait. It should only be a second. Look up at the sky, and you'll know. You guys remember when you stepped on Bellari? That was crazy. That was so sad. And it's going down. Whatever. I'm I'm just going to do We've it. We've already waited long enough. Oh, no. You've already waited this long. Just Sunk cost. With it. Sunk cost. <laughs> <sighs> this is a fun minigame. I don't remember my route, though. Oh, I know the route. Dude, it's so free. 500 is free. It's too hard. It's too hard to tell you over stream delay, though. So yeah. good luck. Just remember to break the rock first, and go down last. Do you need focus time, or do you want to talk right. about the mini game while you're making it? I'm not gonna talk. You guys can go ahead and talk. Okay. So CDI actually programmed this entire mini game. Yeah. Uh, so I did see, the entire thing. You can see right here as soon as that first. Uh, Rupee shows up, there's a little uh, contextual thing on the right side there. Um, yeah, CDI made that. It's pretty good. Honestly, best part about it. Um, and then I guess Kenton did a little bit of the extra work, <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> like everything else. You know, I don't actually remember if I did the Rupee counter all by myself or... No, you did most of it. We had a suggestion mostly about that it needs drop shadow, <laughs> and I don't happen to see drop shadow. Well, you know, <laughs> it's a little hard. I think on widescreen that looks really weird. And AG Curve is like, whoever did this doesn't know what they're doing. And I was like, I'm sorry. Yep. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> yeah, so this minigame is so freaking cool. Kenton, I think, made it on stream, if I remember. Yeah, I think so. Ooh, did I get it? I wasn't keeping track of that. I think time. you're about to be either one second off or you got it. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow, you were early as hell. How was I so fast? I'm just I'm too, to I'm too good room. at the game is what the problem is. I'm just too good. 
I'll give it one more shot. Well, there's a there's a heart piece here, so I need to. Uh, yeah, oh, have I, to I have it. a timer on my screen. Why didn't I just look at that and cheat? <laughs> like everybody else. That's, that's, that's yeah. cheating. We don't cheat. Yeah, so you can. Uh, you can get the See mini ya. game. You can get the mini game 500. Nice. <laughs> you can get the mini game 500 by only. Uh, without oh getting God, 60, it is possible. Uh, and that is by getting 250 and then getting the two times, which is showing up five seconds early, I believe. Um, getting 250 is hard, but there is a route that you can get like 270 or something. Yeah, pretty if, you, easily. if you nail it, you can get over a thousand rupees in one run. Yes. The project is called Indigo because Kenton called it Indigo and it's that. Yeah, this is story Kenton likes to tell that I think he's making up. <laughs> or he says that I asked him for the name and he made it up on the spot. But I seem to recall you told me the name. Um, 57. Without me asking. Okay. <laughs> Night, you got it. Nice. Is 57 the time... If yeah. you are within five seconds, you get 2x, and if you hit it right on the dot, you get 4x. Oh. Okay. Is it going to stay Indigo forever? Probably not. No, we'll have a we'll have a new name for the final release. There's also Everyone a funny Easter egg. If you, if you indigo, try to go but... dig up one of the spots when the game's not active... <laughs> oh, yeah. I love this. Can, can you pass really quick? I, dude, I, I don't know how to ask. We also have some Easter eggs for people that know how to do glitches. Um, I've got a bunch of yeah. logic that detects some of the common glitches, and there's some uh, some tail will basically yell at you for cheating. <laughs> but we still <laughs> we still allow Arnold. the glitches to to happen. Yeah, Ode to Arnold is a great name. Uh, you gotta go talk to the cousins. Yeah, need the cousins and... and then the rest of the Scardita as well. Yeah. I just want to get enough money for the boomerang, bro. Yeah. Uh, get enough money for the mirror shield. You want to show that off? Oh, <laughs> not the mirror shield. Love the mirror shield. Nothing. I'm short. All right, I'll come back to town. I'll go get the Scardita in the, into the bottle. The bottle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bonk. You know, while we're here, talking about custom enemies, um, is there anything in the future we can look forward to with enemies? Any plans or ideas uh, you got? Do you want us to leak them? Because there is... I think he just wants to talk about his Deku Deku Nut. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's almost as if there was an um, an enemy idea that came up just today, actually, <laughs> that, <laughs> that might be implemented into the game. <laughs> who knows? Yeah, who who knows trying who... to give the trying to give the fans a little something, you know? That's all. <laughs> who knows who wants to make that one? <laughs> if, it, if it ever shows in the game, I'd be so glad. Will there be I mean, somebody it's... who looks like Cafe and Anju if we decide to use their models? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Do we read the? Cousins. Do we leave the? Do we oh, read yeah, the I'm, letter? I'm, I'm reading it because her her no! text is heartbreaking. Oh, you killed Casca. That's right. Yeah. So the so she, Becky has a lot of text. Yeah. She asked us to fetch this bottle for her, but not to read the contents. So I'll go ahead and read it. And it's just some some lore. <laughs> Oh, I like that it says don't read it first. So first really yeah, I did that on purpose. <laughs> you gotta be intentional. Yeah, so... Uh, this, essentially, the story is that this is a letter from Casca to her younger sister, Becky, saying that she's going to fight off the horde that so that everyone can get into the forest uh, tree line safely. And then, obviously, she ends up dying. Which is a very nice memento to have from your dead sister, probably, I would think. <laughs> well, wow, you are awful. <laughs> yeah, I mean... 
No creature that walks this land could be as evil as you are. That's true. So if you... And now she's sad. And now she'll never look at you again. <laughs> and if you talk to her, she just keeps sobbing. <laughs> if you don't read the letter, she gives you the bottle to keep. If you do read it... Um, uh, be careful. Safe here. Yeah, I I'm, not, I'm not going to buy it, it, but it, she'll oh, it's actually not here even. sell it back to the shop, and you can buy it in the shop, yeah, so you don't yeah. miss out on the, on the bottle. Yeah. There's a lot of... Um, a lot of decisions that can be made that you feel like you might miss out on something, but there there will always be an alternate way to get it. Nice. It just won't be as beneficial, probably. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> that was cool. Uh, the composer, the composer for ninety percent of the songs is the Ego Effect. No, you're uh, no, you're never soft You're lock. not soft lock. Never. There's just like an easy way to get it, and maybe more. Away or later in the game. Maybe a more morally correct way to get it. <laughs> I think the only thing you'd ever get soft locked on would be like story scenarios. It's like dialogue, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. You will never be able to see all dialogue uh, At the, in one playthrough. Yeah. Like all the Kokiri kids, we missed like two whole different sections of the things they say. Intentionally though. Yeah, it's intentionally. I put a lot of detail into the dialogue. I love how those snapdragons look when you like shield bonk them. I uh, yeah. Right? So they get bonked back. Uh, thirty-six seconds was me, but our times have significantly decreased. <laughs> we have gotten much better at that mini game. I've I've seen someone say they got thirty-one. Thirty-one. I don't yeah. know how that's possible. <laughs> Unofficial official record of 31. I think my lowest now is 33. But yeah, we leave 34 in there. Or 36. Just, Where so am I so. missing two scars? Uh you are missing one in Oh, the one in Mid Valley? That's right, Mid Valley. And probably missed oh you know what i missed that one behind the grave in agatha oh yep 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 yep. you're right oh right into dash dan or dusty dave don't need to be back here i love how they each have distinct personalities too how dash and dan is a very enthusiastic racer he loves racing he loves to watch people <laughs> race and then dusty dave is just he loves money yeah. <laughs> he hates his job but loves the money are there going to be dungeon maps? I think eventually. Yeah, um, they kind of have to be. A lot of our dungeons, well, specifically the village, <laughs> kind of needs one. They're just kind of, they're really hard to make. I, I had to make them for the missing link and it, yeah, it's rough. Oh, you, didn't, you didn't have fun? No, I mean, but Kenton had so much you know, fun making uh, these mini maps. Sure. Drawing right. them by hand, constantly scaling. And, well, each mini map does Gee. like four hours a piece. I don't know if you knew this, but I'm pretty sure that minimap tool that guy made for Blender was online at the time you did these by hand. It did not it, work, I, sadly. It wasn't it, in a it workable didn't state. Work. Yeah. No, I tried. Rogue, I think his name is Roguel, or mm -hmm. R-O-G-U-A-L. Uh, I think it, it works now. Is it Rogue? I thought it was like Residual or something. Nah, I think it was Roguel. I don't oh remember. my god, you have just enough money. <laughs> I love this shield, dude. I don't care what you say. It looks like ass. I mean, and I made it. What do what do you guys think? I think it looks like, you know, a mirror. It yeah. looks like an actual mirror. It is, is the most mirror shield mirror shield I've ever seen. <laughs> it's literally too much like a bathroom mirror. I don't have any money. You wanna give uh you wanna give the man of the hour uh his Oh yeah, uh, cool. praise for this idea. <laughs> or when, oh, this, this was uh, ZFG's idea actually. To use what? these twin Rova beams yeah. on the shield. Um, oh, I think very, he said he told you after on, demo one. I asked him. I was like, we were chatting about something, and he mentioned, I've always had this idea to use the twin Rova abilities outside of the twin Rova fight. I was like, you know what? That's a really good idea, and that. Kind of expanded into the whole shield abilities as a concept so thanks to zfg for planting that seed 
So these are the cousins, Borwin and Dorwin. We didn't talk to them earlier, but if you do, Borwin's like, I saw Buzzblob, he was talking and screaming about electricity. He's weird as hell. And Dorwin's like, I don't believe you, freak. And, uh, like... If you come back, if you come back and you haven't, uh, like, talked to them in a while, the first thing they just say is, like, you believe me, right? But it doesn't no, say they... what, <laughs> no, what they're talking the... about. They only say that if you've already talked to the Buzz Blob and gotten the Goo Quest. Like, <laughs> yeah, but you could have done that like yeah, four days I, ago. Yeah, I realized um, there isn't one oversight with the text box there yet. It should say first he tells it, but you know, do we do we really care? <laughs> a forgettable backlog. Yeah, I, I care a little. I care a little bit, but not enough. Linux Triforcer, how you doing, buddy? Hey, buddy. <laughs> How's it going? Have you thought about adding any Oracle-style ring system? No. No. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. We did thought about it, and we decided against it. Yeah. There's, um... I saw a question earlier that didn't get answered, um... About the medallions, and how, like, you get the light medallion and it's quake. If there's gonna be other medallion abilities... Maybe? You get the light medallion? Yeah, oh, you mean the, like in the pause menu? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a Sixth, light medallion though. is the quake medallion. That was I'm my like, thought, is if there are other medallions, they would become maybe like an equipable item, and there would not be that many. Yeah, the the, the six on the pause menu is just because that's kind of where... That's because we never touched the them. pause menu. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Oh, I've got, I've got a ice magic now. I can go freeze Oh, yeah, you can go... A candle never, never before seen content because nobody's ever thought to do this. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know you could do it either. Yeah, this is very specific by Aegis, and it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people have said stuff about the fast travel doors and about icons being above them. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll. I think the interior the of that room will have something better on the doors like roots growing out of the door for the deku tree or you know snow on the snow drifts for the one back to the mountain stuff like that yeah can't wait to see everything in the final build <laughs> me too yeah i don't i think if we were to add more medallions every medallion would be fun and an equipment oil all right now look at him uh, you can uh, if you um, <laughs> if, if you do the if you do the tail text, they say something new. Oh, do they really? I didn't even know that. Yeah, they should. I've got oh, I've got the wrong one. It's the Saitama face, yeah. The okay. But it seems, it seems somewhat, somewhat disappointed. disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew that. Yep, I remember. It was very nice. yeah, the Saitama face was very. Uh, Man, I just realized the mirror shield is like number one uh, item to use against these guys. I know, it's a, <laughs> it's a double whammy. Yeah, Cheeto, that face was added in. So what else is there now? I've got uh, one Scardita. Get the final Scardita. I'm thinking of any missing content, like NPC-wise, and I... I mean, talking to Garland, really. Oh yeah, like... I'll talk to her and then head back. I mean, also talk to Follow, I guess, at the same time. They just say... Well, actually, you missed most of the Garland content. If you talk to Garland after she tells you to go get the uh, sigils, um, she gives you options to learn about, like, a little backstory about each of the sigils and where they might be. That's 30 if you haven't gotten them. Bonk. Anything new? No, this is just the same build. Nothing has been added since... I mean... Stuff on the back end that might have been added. Nothing public. It's like calling the player dumb for trying to free something you are meant to set on fire. Yeah, <laughs> in a way. <laughs> uh, will the fire and ice beams be usable in puzzles oh like activating gosh, torches? I don't. Uh, <laughs> I think the fire and ice beams from the shield are meant to be more like combat abilities. I don't think they actually light torches and stuff. They do. They're, they they do. do. They they are but... really fully functional. Fire and ice. I I spent a long time on the on the beams. That's crazy. Um, the the mirror shield is intended to be a dungeon reward for 
a, uh, oh. a later dungeon that we have, and that will be kind of the dungeon right. item. Okay, in that case, I definitely need to change that design. It looks like as, uh, as a reward. Something I, I can't say on stream, but there were some things about that, Kenton, that I would we should discuss. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's in on the uh, on my little secret now. Don't I also small thing to, small thing to I... notice. Uh, those regrowable grass don't actually drop magic in, in the actual game. I specifically added a case that when you're low on magic, they drop magic. <laughs> Are you serious? Wow. Yeah. I needed a way to have regrowable magic in the, the two lower rooms of the village, and uh, that was the only way I could think of doing it. Yeah, I would have thought that they did that. I hope they do not. All right, time for some sappy, sappy text from the page. Yep, from me specifically. Sappy? What? Yeah, he says something I sappy. I don't know where over this. Oh, I didn't. That's because a lot of people didn't. Arrow. Yeah, they're unfortunately they're like the last item you get. <laughs> yeah, they're, they don't really they have any use them. They they're amazing on Snapdragons. I'll show one off. Show I wonder. Off get back to. I wonder where the locked door leads to. Crazy. You're stunning, my dear friend. I cannot thank you enough. Here's the special item. <laughs> what a shitty special item to get. <laughs> the short shot. Can, can Here's a piece so of evil. junk. Tintin is so evil. I'm really sad a lot of people got locked out of this with that bug. It does, it does, it does work. It is a functional. It is a functional. <laughs> Go up to that torch. Hey, now, Tintin, do you want to give any backstory for why this is in the game at all? Yeah, so I I detest the hookshot as an item. And I was very adamant that I would not have a hookshot in the game. And there are some fans in particular that thought this was a terrible idea. The hookshot was the best item ever, and the game was going to be worse off for not having it. Uh, so I, I added it for those people. <laughs> and they are very happy. I can there tell you right are, now. Uh, yep, they love it. There Let's are two him. things Kenton is. I've never seen him more adamant on, and that is no no hookshot, no two penguin, and no iron knuckles. No, yeah, and no, no two iron. penguin. <laughs> Iron Knuckles and, was so the other things. thing that I, I yeah. promised from the start. There were, there'll never be an Iron Knuckle in Indigo. I can make a better enemy than an Iron Knuckle. I think. We have made many more enemies. Oh wait, I just want to keep than the Iron Knuckle. Get some more magic. So I can actually shoot one of the... Uh, you could void out right now and then go get goo. I'm not getting goo. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> But her uh, choo choos in the. Yeah, out. there are in, Suburge, in the Sporja area. Yeah. Oh, I'm 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 doing this, but uh, not explaining it. So the quick spin, when you have double magic, it uses the fully charged, uh, fully charged spin attack instead of the normal one. And the cost, the balancing part of that is that quick spins cost magic now too. Where did you get double magic from? I don't remember that. Quake gives you it. Quake Medellin oh. gives it you right now. Yeah. We'll Ooh. not do that in the actual release. That makes sense. Yeah, there's lots of options for traversal. Uh, traversal. Traversal. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't save all of the uh, Snapdragons, so he has to pay for soap. Oh, yeah, you need soap. You still don't. Yeah, you don't need soap. So the soap shock arrows have a chain lightning, mess. and these oh, have yeah. a, a special electrified ability. Do it again. The Snapdragons also have the ability to dodge normal arrows, but they don't they won't dodge electric arrows to make them like extra vulnerable. They also have a fun a fun Easter egg attack. Um let me respawn them and I'll I'll show you. If you spam arrows at them, they get angry and do like a burrow attack and come out underneath. <laughs> Yeah, I believe the Pegasus Dash fully charged is the same thing. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
these the Snapdragons are actually fairly complicated with their AI behavior. You don't see most of it because their health is so low. When I first made them, I was like, these are gonna be a very lethal enemy, and I gave them like 15 HP. It was fun, but just too much. So now they're just kind of a very smart, but more of a nuisance than anything else. I mean, I think they're is still they're still pretty strong. Fenton, I see a question in chat. Somebody's saying that you talked about wanting a dark place lit only by tail who could be eaten by an enemy. He's asking, did you do it? No, I did not. Do you remember saying that? <laughs> yeah, I think I said that in a stream or maybe a video or something. But I thought yeah, that, would be, that would be great if there was an enemy that could like temporarily eat your fairy. <laughs> you had to rescue tail really quick. Some ideas are yeah. best left as ideas. I mean, we don't have point lighting anyway, so... Back inside the ancient Decker tree. Yeah, uh, fun fact, the Pegasus Dash is the same speed as a Hess. And that is intentional. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, the boomerang, boomerang is just kind of overpowered in general right now, which I'm kind of fine with. Honestly, it's so hard to aim. Kind of whatever. I mean, Z-target, kind of. I mean, especially where you fight Snapdragons is usually an open area for the most part. So, never really have any troubles running into them or hitting them. Talk to follow one last time. I don't know if he says anything cool. But I know he does say something different. Yeah, I, I assume we're going to it's the end gone. of the demo, yeah. right? Yep, we're going to the end. I'm going to talk to follow and then we'll wrap it up. So, if there are any closing questions people want to get out of the way, I recommend you put them in chat now before we're done. Just got a little bit of time that we can answer them. Yeah, we can answer them during the ending cutscene. Poor Becky. It's almost like you double killed her sister. Yeah, I think the difficulty probably won't change too much. Like, you know, I think it's fairly, fairly fair <laughs> if you come equipped with the right items. I think, I think I gave him a Cowboy Bebop reference here. Yeah, you must carry that weight. <laughs> I do. Uh, since no hookshot, what underwater item? Oh, uh, yeah, we have uh, an underwater uh, item planned. It is not. It is not made yet, but it's something that we've we've had in had in design for a very long time. So it, it's It'll very very put, likely that we'll go ahead and do it. Probably put currently a, into another remission. Yeah, yeah currently a <laughs> secret though, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do we learn in-game why Link is a hermit, or is it supposed to be interpreted by the players themselves? Um, it's not really a secret or anything. He's just decided to settle down. You know, he had searched for 15 long years in the Lost Woods, and... Yeah, he just kind of gave up after not being able to find Navi. What will the other bosses be? Uh, uh hopefully a lot of them custom. And not yeah. reuse, but... And we not will... bongo bongo with the torch. We will see, yeah. 100%. <laughs> Yay! Woo. Congratulations! Yeah. Three hours and 42 minutes. That's awesome. That's a really, that's a decent time. Where's the Ocarina of Time? He threw it away. Yeah, somewhere it's in the oblivion. It's hanging up on a shelf in his house. Somewhere. Probably here about it. Shout out to the Indigo Death team. Wait. CDI fails at Kenton M and Avery I don't know those guys. I've heard of them. Actual car watch is really well. Some talented people that have made yeah. some amazing <laughs> stuff. You guys talk about Elbun camera pictures. No, that was made did. by that was made by Agakur. It's in the uh, options menu. That uh, he, he also made. made. Of, yeah, if you hold down L, you can use the C buttons or C stick or buttons as a like a free cam, which is a good option to have if you have like a uh, controller with an actual stick on it. Yeah. 
Yeah, GameCube controllers, most mostly. <laughs> Will there be a replacement for the big Goron sword? Yes. Uh, I, yeah. yeah. I, I will confirm that for sure. Yes. Um, will other people hang around Link's house like that lost erosion? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's, maybe there's, maybe there's, maybe there's, maybe there's. Yeah, I love the in-game playtime color. It's so awesome. Did, did that work like the first time you added that? Or did that take like uh, a Uh, not time? originally. It broke once because it wasn't detecting like save resets. Oh. But we fixed that. Shout out to all the people with special thanks, by the way. Oh, I see someone from chat. Uh, I saw Lean X Triforce in the chat just minutes ago. And thanks, Hisuya, for keeping no, me no. on target. Who? Who? Me? Yeah. Well, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't know. That guy must freaking be one of the most handsome guys. <laughs> His fingers must write really decent code. And write really bad handwriting. <laughs> Shut up about my handwriting. It's we don't talk about my handwriting Honestly, in public. That stays in that stays in private. <laughs> Next up the full release. Unless, Unless. That's it. Thanks everybody. Well, that was fun. That yeah. was Indigo. Chapter two. Thanks for all the questions and yeah. any, any for final around. Any final thoughts? Anyone, anything you just have to ask, get off your chest. Yeah, speak now. We're here. Hold your feet. You may never get, get some the more soup answer. while you're here. Let's chug some soup. Yeah, I think it's a good moment for soup. This is. I do want to show one more flavor thing. This is a uh, an idea we have where Link has kind of kept his shields throughout his adventures and hangs them up on the wall here. I do like it. Although it's a little funny when you walk out without the shield. <laughs> yeah, it's a little funny when you can't climb up the ladder. <laughs> yeah, the, it's it's a decorative ladder. <laughs> all right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you all for for stopping in. It was a lot of fun, and thanks for CDI and Hisuya for doing this with me. Yeah, it was been fun. Of course. Take care, everybody. See y'all later.